All right. Well, with that, guys, it is time. Let's get started. Continue. And that's our most recent one. There we go. So, yeah, we were just left the bunker and came back here to the mansion. So let's go ahead and talk to people to kind of get a refresher. Oh, yeah, that's right. We can't talk to Mary because she's no longer there. Oh, I guess that's the only person we could talk to. I thought maybe we could also talk to teammates, but I guess not. So currently we have... Who's our partner? Who do we want our partner to be? I don't know. <laughs> do we want to take... What's his name? Itu? Itu? Madoka? Or Shuji? I'm not sure. Shuji seems kind of sketch to me. I don't know. He just kind of popped up as soon as that uh, psychic lady left. And I think he was here to help, but like... I don't know. That was kind of weird. And then we rescued her at the school, so uh, I don't think have too much bad information about her. And then there's this guy who he knows a lot about the experiments and stuff going on. We might need to take him. I'm not sure. I like how his name is Sickly Doctor, Aloof Scientist, Strange Vagrant. Maybe we should take him because he seems to be the most familiar with the area, I think. And Shuji looks like how I feel every day. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> He does look like he's pretty ill, doesn't he? All right, let's take a two. A two? I don't know. Excellent. <laughs> I love that. We'll just call him Banshee. We'll just call him Banshee. Okay, let's exit. And we're going back to the south alley. So we explored this area a little bit. And then things got scary. And we got the hell out of there. So the entrance was right down here in this manhole. Let's go down. That's right, there's this creepy chanting in the background, which makes me think there's somebody here, but it could be on the radio. I don't know. Um, I wish I could look at a map or something. All we can look at is that little radar at the top. I think we need to go forward. I think backwards was a dead end. We've already explored this area a little bit, but <laughs> I've absolutely forgotten where everything is. Let's try going right. I think this is where we went when uh, we got kicked out and had to go back to the mansion. Nice giant blood stain on the floor. The dried blood has blackened on the floor. There's quite a lot. Whoever left it probably died. Uh, let's go left. Have I been in there? Maybe we did. Let's see if this looks familiar. Yes! This does look familiar. I thought something creepy happened here, and this is when we left. So there's a bunch of Buddha heads. This is where all those desecrated statue body parts went. Um, I can't really search anything here. So I guess we're done here for now. What do we have in our bag? Let's double check. We have the underground shelter key. This is a key Banshee found when he was exploring the shelter. The label on it says it's from an army facility. We have a rusted army sword that's probably going to be used to fight one of these things. Hey, Kano, what is up? <laughs> these jams are bop. <laughs> it reminds me of like watching a World War II movie. They would sometimes have this kind of music in the background. Uh, what's here? Disposal Vat Management Record. Oh, this is a little thing that we read that was kind of hard to read. It says, Dispose 200 Super Dimension Iron Door Half spiritualized hypothesis, mystical forces need sacred object to erase. Clear as mud. And it says the safety valve release code is diamond. That's useful. We also have a Kagura Suzu bell, a bell used in ancient Shinto dance rituals. It has three sets of small bells, seven, five, and three. It's also called Miko bell. It's meant to be used by a shrine maiden. So, if we end up fighting a Shrine Maiden, we'll probably have to use this to save ourselves. Or distract her, I'm guessing. You know, back to the screen. What is with our stats? <laughs> like, why, why, do we, why do we have 10 power, 10... What does that even mean? <laughs> um, we can see what everybody's stats are, but like... Is this useful in, like, attacking a ghost or something? Like, do we want to have somebody with high power be the one that actually, like, strikes a ghost? I had no idea... That makes any difference. I'm not sure. That'd be kind of neat. I haven't really been paying attention to it, to be honest. 
and Krim, you actually really love bells. Um, you bought some when you went to Japan. They got so many neat things like that in Japan. I did buy a, um, like one of those like Japanese fans that kind of unfolds and it has a really cool Godzilla artwork on the inside when I was in Japan. <laughs> yeah, just to show how alpha you are. <laughs> I don't know, the old man's probably more alpha than our character is. Oh, that's right. We also saw these blood stains on the side wall that look like it's missing something. Like, uh, like blood was sprayed on there, and then they took down a poster. We saw that earlier. Okay, let's go in here. We were here before. Uh, it's set up the same way as that operating room. This place may have been used for the same experiments. The bed here is really hard. Not great for sleeping on. I don't recommend it. Remember, this guy lives down here, so he would know. I wouldn't sleep here even if you did. What the hell was that noise? That was like really loud in my headset. I don't like it. <laughs> they... I don't think anything's happening. I think it's just to mess with you. I don't think like if you hear that you're in trouble or anything. I think it's just to mess with you. Nothing's inside the metal cabinet. It's a cabinet with a front or with a glass door. Looks like there's something in it. Open that. I open it and search inside. I find a notebook titled Research Records and a Small Gun. The notes have deteriorated, but I can just make out what they say. <laughs> yeah, to mess with you. Or is it? <laughs> At least from my recollection, because we've heard these noises throughout the game, I don't think I've ever been attacked like soon after that happened. I think the attacks are mostly at certain points in the story. It's not like, um, what was that full motion video game that we played with the guy with the club that was chasing us around at dead of night? If you heard something, he could be right behind you <laughs> and you better move. All right, this uh, note says 70th Next experiment, Asura Statue Con. Male body and female head. Success. So we might have to remember that male body, female head thing. Then, Internatural. Probably Supernatural is what that says. Phenomenon. Spirit, frequent, hard, continue experiments. That's all it says. All right, we got research records too and a palm pistol. <laughs> I like that, Kano. These ghosts are so beta. Oh, there's still some papers left. They're pretty valuable. If you say so. What about this cabinet? It's a rusted filing cabinet. It's a well-built metal cabinet. Whatever's inside should be intact. All right, let's try opening it. When I open the door, a cloud of dust flies up and blocks my vision. A notebook with a black cover is left inside. We got the experimental unit correspondence code. Now we're getting all kinds of paperwork. Experimental unit correspondence code. It seems to be a document about cryptograms. Inside it says, Canon weapon code name. Oh, and then it gives us some Morse code. Dot, 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 dash, dot, dot, dash, dash. Heavenly Buddha project's code name and the Morse code for that. Soul. Human heads used as materials. Ew. There's that. It looks like a like Wabun Wabun code. It's a similar to Morse. Oh, it's not the same thing as Morse code. I had no idea. Well, I wonder if that's like a Japanese specific thing. Like we use Morse code, they have their own thing, so we can't as easily translate it, maybe. Something down here. It looks like it's been a number of years since this person died. The dried skin gives the appearance of a mummy. <laughs> right, Krem? We, we might have to report that, Krem. The cut by the neck is jagged. It must have been cut with some kind of tool. So this is one of those guys that got their heads removed for experiments. So far, we've only seen Buddha heads. We haven't seen any, like, live human heads. Okay, I think we're done in there. I go back this way. I think we need to check left. This might just be a dead end. Hello? Nothing. All right.
You know, I'm having a hard time seeing what's happening, but every time I press like one of the directions on the D-pad, all of the cursors for like the buttons, the uh, image changes. Like, look at this, it's very quick. Specifically like Y, almost looks like it changes to a different letter. I can't quite tell what it changes to though. It's weird. <laughs> it's almost like it's re-registering that I'm using a controller or something. Okay, from here, I'm going to go right. Let's try going north. I don't think I've been in here yet. It seems to be locked. Um, I'm guessing I can't use the uh, underground shelter key? No. It's a thick iron door. The keyhole isn't rusted. I could o uh, open it if I had the key. Oh! We did have it. Okay. <laughs> you just had to use the door, not try to walk through it. Nice. Let's check this out. We should probably save it. Just saying. Um, here. There we go. What is that? I can hear a victory chant coming from the other side of the intersection. Is this where the radio is playing? Like, why would you go back? Like, we need to continue forward. Keep going. I shrug and keep moving forward. I take one step forward and... Oh, crap. An electric current runs through my body and my muscles seize up. Maybe I made a bad choice. Ah, oh, crap. Live or die. Let's see how this goes. Who's this talking? You lay about. What are you doing there? You have time to be loafing around, do you? Recite this base's slogans at once. Cheer for the final battle in the home. I have no idea. Cheer for the final battle in the homeland. Crap, what is it? Um... Give birth for the sake of the country. You call yourself a citizen? Oh crap, I think I messed up. Oh, we took some damage. <laughs> I have no idea. We haven't found that paperwork yet. I don't think we have anyway. <laughs> Genuinely purple. Sounds like your mother. The noise that you heard, that victory chant. Um, once more, declare our resolve to strike back with air raids. We won't lose even if our country's reduced to ashes. Show your determination. Uh, last chance. The land of gods is indestructible? Hey, <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Good guess. Oh, the layabout thing. That makes sense. <laughs> How you doing, Porple? Good to see you, dude. Our army has fought bravely from the southern tropics to the northern Arctic. But the tide still hasn't turned in our favor. What do you think? Can we win this crusade? Uh. If the kamikaze winds blow. That's another good guess. Oh my gosh. You're pretty promising for a new recruit. Keep a good eye on the squad. Farewell. Ooh, I got lucky. I got very lucky. <laughs> and Kano sounds like we're in an acapella submarine. I like that. Um, another big thing of blood. There are numerous footprints in the blood stain on the floor. Are these human footprints? Or... Or what? Statue footprints? Oh, there's a big pipe or something here. What is that? No noise is coming from this pipe. I'd guess that no water is flowing through it. <laughs> but yeah, Porple, I definitely got that kind of talking when I was like a kid, for sure. I was super lazy as a kid. Katamari, welcome Katamari. How you doing, dude? <laughs> I also walk in blood. I like the sound of the splatter. <laughs> squish, squish, squish. Ew. Okay, what is this down here? Is that a person? Hard to tell. Human bones. Yes, it is. It looks like the person was crushed to death. 
Oh, because like all the limbs are like split apart, huh? What does that say? Something's written on the wall in blood. It says, I. I? Wasn't that one of our friend's names earlier? Like one of those girls that had joined our group? We cured her curse and she took off. But yeah, I don't think we have I anymore. It's a thick iron door. The keyhole isn't rusted. Oh, we used the same key. Excellent. All right, what's down here? Gosh, every room in this place is creepy. It's the operating room in the southern section. But on this table is... How about that? A dead body. A headless corpse is lying there. Yep, more beheading for the experiments. <laughs> Essentially, Katamari. So, I don't know if you remember earlier, Katamari, we got we stumbled upon that shrine that had a bunch of Buddha statues that had, like, their heads removed. Well, we're finding out that they were trying to do some kind of experiments in, like, this military bunker to essentially, like, uh, turn statues into, like, living weapons so they could use them in war. And we're down here kind of checking out what's going on with these statues, and it turns out they were also doing experiments with human heads, cutting them off bodies to see if they could do this. So I have a feeling the spirit we're going to tackle is going to have something to do with these statues. It's missing not only its head, but also all of its limbs. What kind of torture was this? A headless corpse is lying on top of the operating table. Come on, game! <laughs> That's just like... Like one of those like flash games that just blasts you with random things to spook you. I'm waiting for like a face to just pop up on the screen. <laughs> that actually kind of got me. A headless corpse. Going by what remains of its clothing, it was likely a woman. It's a rusted filing cabinet. Open it up. The door is locked. Aww. Uh, can we use our key? I take out the shelter key, but what do I do with it? Can't use the key. How about the sword? Could we open it up with the sword? I pull the rusted army sword off my belt. Nope, can't use that. What else do we have? We could shoot it open. <laughs> we only have one bullet. I don't think we're supposed to use that for that. Um, we don't have much else that would work on that. I bet we have to come back and do that later. Is that really loud for you guys? <laughs> How loud do I have my headphones? My headphones are the normal volume. Just those sounds are super loud. <laughs> you would think, right, Purple? I might be able to, like, just force it open with the sword. No. Nope. Not happening. Now, I do like to have my headphones fairly loud for spooky games because it makes it creepier, but man, the volume of those sound effects just feels louder than anything else. Okay, so I gotta remember there's something in there behind a locked cabinet. Oh, a bunch of bloody handprints over here. Interesting. The door is stained with blood. Upon closer look, it's countless handprints. But the keyhole is perfectly fine. We have a key, thank goodness. Yoink. <laughs> it's just decorative. I've done that before. Actually, for Halloween, when we decorated our side yard where kids had to come up for uh, trick-or-treating, we had some sheets up with a bunch of creepy lights behind it that we could walk behind and they could see our silhouettes. And we had a bunch of bloody handprints on there as well. When I turn the knob to go in, the door doesn't open. Oh, what's a fuss? The door won't open. I'm sure I unlocked it, though. I turn the key again just to double check. But I was right. It's unlocked. What's going on? I try turning the knob slowly, but it stops moving halfway. It's almost as if someone is on the opposite side is pushing against it to keep it closed. Oh no. It seems the dead are rejecting us. Read all the records. Speak to that woman. Yikes. <laughs> it's just fingerprinting the door. No big deal, right, Crumb? 
and uh, Katamari, the lock-picking lawyer, could gladly open that with a soda can in 30 seconds. It sounds like MacGyver, Katamari. All the records and that woman. Are the records referring to the research records? I try to prompt my old self into answering. But there's no reply. No choice left. I turn to Banshee. Let's keep looking. We can come back here later. That makes me think maybe we have to get our um, uh, other partner, the lady partner, back here. Maybe she has something to do with this? It just said, that woman. <laughs> and it's not a Schlage lock, and you can lockpick it easily, Kano. If only our character had the skills and the knowledge, right? That's cool. I've never watched Lockpicking Lawyer. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> it sounds like it'll make me very, very worried about the locks in my house. Okay, yeah, I think we'll have to come back to this door later. Let's check out to the right from this direction. We have not been up here yet. Another bone. It's an abandoned skeleton. <laughs> an abandoned skeleton? What other type of skeleton is there? Like a skeleton people keep around for, you know, chuckles? Um, look at it. The bleached corpse is weathered in places. Something is in its bony hand. Oh, let's grab that. I managed to pry it out. The whole corpse looks like it might crumble at any second. I found a worn out talisman. Yes, more spirit juice. When I pick up the worn out talisman, I feel a warmth flow through me. Boom. Got the soul power. Seriously. <laughs> That's so sad that these locks are so easy to pick. The worn out talisman crumbles silently in my hand. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're gone. There's a bunch of handprints there. I couldn't actually, like, focus on it, though. That was weird. Hey, okay, let's unlock the door. And we can go in. This door does work. <laughs> yeah, the skeleton's owner abandoned it long ago. I'd, I'd have to say every skeleton that you can see is most likely abandoned. <laughs> Oh, this is another one of those rooms where I can see like lines on the wall, but I can only see them if I aim the flashlight there. Otherwise, the marks don't exist. Super creepy. Another one. We didn't do like a big circle, right? I don't think so. Where does this go up? If I climb the ladder, I can get above ground. Let's check it out. Oh, this takes us to the other place. Climbing out of that manhole, we see we are in the K. Miyamachi North Road. We managed to find a way out. It wouldn't hurt to go back to the mansion for now. It'll be a pain to get back to M. Now South Alley for the car, but... We are supposed to go back to the mansion? I want to try to go back down where we came from. There we go. Okay, we can go back down. Nice. <laughs> Say that to the ghost. He would not appreciate that. Okay, there's a dead end here. Wait, we've been here before. I think. This looks very familiar. You know what? I think we just couldn't open that door before is what happened. I think we've been down here, but this door is locked and we didn't have the key yet. Okay, if that's the case, I think we need to go right. No, we went that way. I think we're done with this area for now. Let's go right again. I'm trying to keep an internal map in my brain just from that little radar at the top. Uh, Jumi, there's no like bigger map I can look at, right? I thought I looked at all the menus. We got like player information, spirit information, and our uh, inventory, but I don't think there's any, like, map, really. Okay, let's go right. Have I been down here? I think we did. There are pitch black stains. Oh, that's the place with the war propaganda posters. 
They got some interesting slogans. Slogans on posters? Hold on. What the hell are you talking about? If you squint real hard, you can see them. See? See what? The words on the posters that were put up there forever ago, of course. I told you earlier, I was born into a family chock full of spiritual power. So, I'm good at seeing supernatural stuff. Are you serious? I can do a test reading for you. Ask me any time. Banshee laughs. But I can really but can I really believe him? Okay, so what if I feel this area? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty much just mapping it internally, Jimmy. Luckily none of the maps are too huge. They typically have like maybe twenty rooms or something. The stains seem to be of old blood. It crackles and breaks off into flakes when I run my fingers over it. Banshee stands in front of the dark stains. Let's see here. Suppress your desires until we win. Work harder, harder, not hard enough. Oh, these are the slogans that I needed to learn, know for that other puzzle that I ran into and almost got killed. Those are the slogans I can see. <laughs> these are the most famous ones. They're from the middle of the war. So, I really didn't need those at all now. Good to know that there was hints. I just totally missed them before. Yeah, no need to memorize now. Um, did we already fully explore this? I think we did. I open the wire mesh door and peek inside, but I don't see anything. I go to close the door and see a paper stuck to the backside. There we go. Ooh, another talisman. I will take the spirit juice. What else we got here? It looks like it's been a number of years since this person died. The dried skin gives the appearance of a mummy. The cut by its neck is jagged. It must have been cut with some kind of tool. And a metal cabinet? Some of the doors are open, but most are locked tight. I search the ones that are open. I find a notebook titled Research Records and an army short sword. So we have two swords now. We can dual wield. The letters in the notebook have faded, but I can still read it. The experiment miraculously succeeded. This divination pro protection? Divine protection? The Asura statue donated from H Shrine, created by line statue makers. Using chisel, donated from same family, sever head. Tool together becomes the key. Finally, our dearest wish. There's nothing else written. Okay, so something about a chisel becoming a key? Interesting. Guess there's some still record or there's still some records around. Pretty valuable stuff. Okay. I think we're done here. Let's go back. I have a feeling I might need to go back to the mansion, switch to the girl, bring her back here, and then try that one door again that mentioned the woman, whatever that means. Okay, so that's the way out. What's further down here again? That one's locked. Oh, but we haven't opened this up yet. There we go. Oh, let's have him check out this one. I'm sure it's the one we already knew. There are pitch black stains. Banshee stands in front of the dark stains. Hmm. 100 million honorable deaths. The land of the gods is indestructible. Yep, those are the ones I guessed. Okay, we don't need those. <laughs> you can just tell the demon they are maidenless. I love that term. It's kind of like a funny troll, but maidens are like an important part of Elder Ring, so it's, it just works. Have you been playing that game, Kano? How far are you? Oh, we haven't been in here yet. There is a single out-of-place Buddha statue. That's oh, right, we just unlocked the door. Its head has been cut off. Hmm. What is this? It's a Buddha statue. The headless Buddha statue is covered in dust. There is a talisman stuck to the neck, as if it's taken the place of the missing head. Hey, got another one. Nice. <laughs> Krem, I'm all about that brute forcing. You know that. Anything else here? 
Nope, that's it. Okay, well, how about this chest right here? It's a big iron box. Open. There's all the heads. And it's not just statue heads. I see person. Person, person. <laughs> this one right here isn't even that old. It's not even a skeleton yet. Hmm. Well, that's ominous. The box is packed with carelessly tossed Buddha statue heads. A real, actual head can be clearly seen among them. It's dry and mummified, but going by the long hair, it's probably female. Mostly likely one of the experiment's victims. We saw that female body back there. Oh, so this is where it was. Let's take it and bring it to its owner. I thought you'd say that. It's like our internal monologue helping us out. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I feel Banshee's gaze on me. I can only carry one head. I need to choose which one to take. Oh. I'm assuming we need to take the woman's head. It was very specific about that. And it's the only one that really stands out. <laughs> yeah, true that, Krim. Long hair does not equal female. Um, have you ever had really long hair, Krim? I have not. The longest I've ever let my hair go was about maybe six inches on top or so, and then I just couldn't take it anymore. Okay, so we're done with the box. Um, can we put the head on the Buddha statue? You have short and long at the same time. Do you like kind of buzz one side of your head or something? The light bulb's covered in dust. It's obvious no one has touched it in a long time. Why is such an old bulb still working? Good question. Oh, like a, like a mohawk? Or how much did he leave on top? Oh, I can't actually, like, use an item here. I was thinking maybe we can put a head on the statue, but we gotta take it elsewhere. Oh. Wasn't I just saying that this game is gonna be dropping, like, <laughs> with those face jumps at me? There it is. <laughs> Called it. If you're gonna do spooky noises, you're probably also gonna do a spooky face at some point. That was good. <laughs> kind of like a Viking style thing. Oh, that's really cool. Nice. Like like a top knot almost. Like just that little spot and you kind of, I don't know if you tie it up or anything. And they know you have part of the woman now. That's true. Oh, that's what that door asked for actually. The one that was locked. I was thinking we had to bring a woman, like our partner. Maybe it more was talking about like a head of a woman. Maybe that's what it wants. Do you like those LED bulbs, Katamari? I've heard such good things about them. They, like, use no power hardly at all. They last a long time. I swear, about 30% of the LED bulbs that I purchase die within, like, a few months. I feel like the failure rate on those is extremely high. Maybe I just had bad luck. But I've tried all different kinds of brands, and they just fail me left and right. Okay. Oh, that's not the door. Crap, where was that door? Um, is it this way? Nope, not that door. I forgot which door was, like, locked. Might have taken a wrong turn. Nope, we can go in there, too. Here's the place with the rest of the heads. <laughs> I don't think I need to donate any new heads. It makes sense, Krem. Why make a perfect, you know, um, what would you call it, product that requires no upkeep without spending more money, right? And you had to change like two bulbs in six years, but they were the ones that I leave on most of the time. Well, that's good. I thought they said that those LED bulbs are supposed to last like 10 years or something, but man, I swear if I bought 20 of them, I had to replace like six of them within like the first six months. 
This was the door, right? Yes, okay. Um, okay, it's unlocked, but the door won't open. It's almost as if someone on the opposite side is pushing it to keep it closed. Oh, I can't, like, use an item. So here's the head. A head retrieved from a box full of Buddha and human heads. It's dry like a mummy. What hair remains seems to be a woman's. The cut looks rough, like it was done by a chisel. Oh, true, at just three hours, which isn't very much. I mean, if it's like your common room, you probably have a light going on for at least five or six hours. Hmm. And you have a color-changing lamp in your living room, so no need LED strips. There you go, Krem. Nice. <laughs> Although LED strips have their place, too. Actually, I have a bunch of LED strips in my kitchen and above a bookcase. So that, like, some of those things that have, like, really high areas, but there's, like, room up above the ceiling, I put some LED strips there, which is a really neat-looking accent lighting. I wouldn't use it for main lighting. Okay, so I think I might need to look at the memo about this cannon soldier. We got a head, but I'm not sure what to do with this head. I'm going to scan this real quick to see if I see anything about a head. So the cannon soldier is this statue they were trying to bring to life to, like, fight in a war. Let's see. The key to Zukawa's transformation and the stolen statues is likely there. And then there's all the operating tables where we saw the removed heads. And the file says something odd, so this might be part of our clue. Spiritualize the door, release the sacred object. But it won't let me even use objects at that door, so I don't think that's the case. And then we had a voice that said, check the disposal vat. Check? I don't think we did that. Where's the disposal vat? And then it says it's probably behind that wall. Was there a wall I was supposed to check out? Crap. There's too many walls in this game. I don't remember where that was. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me exactly where we, like, heard this, I guess. Yeah, I've tried, like, some brands that I'm not familiar with, Kano, and then I've also tried LED bulbs from, like, more named brands, like GE or something. Still, complete random luck if it's going to survive. But I, I do like that they don't get hot, like, at all. That's very nice. And then there's a flickering half-spirit door. Or maybe we already did this. That, that sounds familiar. Maybe not, though. It says, there's a passage beyond the intersection that looks like a dead end. An iron door flickers in and out. And for whatever reason, I'm the only one that can see it. So, I'm thinking we might have the sacred object with uh, that head now. Let's try to find the dead end that has a door that flickers in and out of reality. So, it looks like a dead end, but it isn't really. There's something there. Yeah, this chapter has a lot of different places to explore compared to some of the other ones. Oh, that's just another operating room. Do you guys have a favorite brand of LED lights? Let's check the sides here. Okay, this might be it. This kind of looks like it. 26 rooms. This is probably one of the bigger areas in the game, huh, Juvie? Okay, there is a dead end here. I don't know if this is the one that has... Um, a secret door. It doesn't look like it. Or we just don't have the right tool. What about up here? It just has a regular door. That's not it. And another regular door. Okay, I'm hoping there's at least one more dead end. Let's 
go right. Go back up to the other intersection. I'm assuming the dead end wall that we're looking for is going to be very obvious. It's not going to be like the side of one of these rooms. It's going to be like right in front of us, kind of like that. Hey, Kano, that's the brand that I always buy too. Yeah, I have um four, four of their light strips. And yeah, they've been great. I really like them. I, I kind of want to get a Govi, um, like a uh, floor lamp for my living room as well. We have one corner of the room we need to get a lamp for. It's like, hey, why not? It also does like warm white and cool white as well. I say the B-Man Forest had 24, but this one, everything looks alike. That is true. Even worse than the forest. And the um, structure of this area, as far as like the up, down, left, right, is very similar like layout from place to place. So it's easy to get lost. Well, that goes all the way to another door, huh? Or was there a dead end here? If we keep going. Yeah, I've heard not the greatest things about the Philips ones. I haven't tried them myself, but and they're really expensive. I decided to try Govi, and I've really liked them so far. Although one of the Govi light strips that I got, I can't seem to match it color for color with all the other ones, and I don't know why. They're the exact same model, but for whatever reason, the colors don't quite hit the same levels, even at the same settings. Which is a bummer, because sometimes I want the whole room to look the same, and I, I can't. Oh, Cree, I've heard of that brand too, yeah. Oh, there's another propaganda thing. Which he'll tell us about it, but we don't really need to know this. What was this one? Luxury is the enemy. That's the one I should have done, but I didn't. I think that was the one I failed. Oh, a trail of blood leads to the ladder at the entrance. Someone trying to escape? Yeah, I probably could have returned it right away, but <laughs> once I had gotten up, because I'm on a ladder installing this pretty high, after I got all that installed and then was checking it out and testing it, I was like, oh man, why is it different? Hmm. I don't know. Do you know, Jumi, if I'm missing something here or do I have to go back to uh, the mansion or something? I don't know if I can go back to the forest. I thought maybe we have to take something back to the forest for the, um, the missing heads. Okay, so it's kind of more on the north side. Let's keep going north. Past this door. I believe this area right here, this is where we did the liver die. So let's explore around here a little bit. Do you notice sometimes when I walk into a new area, the cursor kind of moves choppy? Like usually I try looking around like that, but sometimes it stutters a little bit. My computer's not powerful enough for this game. <laughs> Keep going this way. And there's that stupid door. Oh, I missed something in the room with the corpse. My bad. I thought I looked at everything, but... Maybe I have to look at something twice. <laughs> I do. Got to get a... I couldn't get much better graphics card. Maybe it's my CPU. Maybe I need to upgrade my CPU. Oh, there was this thing I didn't open before. That's right. The rusted filing cabinet. I tried using a sword, and it wouldn't let me. Let me try the other sword that I got. <laughs> Join the 3090 Master Race. Katamari. Actually, depending on the game... Because of clock speeds and different things, sometimes the 3080 Ti actually rates higher than the 3090. 3090 has more memory, but... A ranged short sword. A prototype weapon developed by the army in the shelter. Spring is installed to the hilt, but it's so flimsy that it's destroyed after one use. So it was never officially adopted. Am I supposed to use this? I don't know. Nope, not that. We could try shooting it. Nope, not shooting. I tried the key before. 
tried the army sword. Let's just brute force try everything. One of these will work, right? I might not have what I need. Buckbeak! Long time, dude. How you doing, buddy? You have a good weekend? Not that item. How about the head? Well, the head? <laughs> this is creepy. I stare again at the human head I'm holding. I've taken it out, but I can't think of a way to use it. <laughs> oh, it's the corpse. Okay. Yeah, because we looked at the corpse, but we didn't do enough with it, I guess. A headless corpse is lying on top of the operating table. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to be putting on that statue. We're supposed to put it back on a body. The okay, the head I picked up earlier might fit on this corpse's neck. Should I try attaching the head? If you're effed up in the head. So yeah, yeah. I try attaching the human head. The human head fits the severed neck perfectly. We got a match. We got a match. I didn't hear about that, Hasifa. That's insane. I will say, though, if anybody is looking for video cards now, my coworker was able to buy um, a gigabyte video card on Amazon at, like, MSRP, which I've never seen before. I guess the Amazon got a whole bunch of video cards today, and you were able to buy a whole bunch of different brands shipped and sold from Amazon for the usual asking price versus those scalper prices. So I don't know if they're still there, but it might be worth checking out if you are in the market for one. And Buckbeak, you're doing good? You had a pretty good weekend for the most part? Oh, that's good to hear. Nice, nice. And Hearts, how's it going, Hearts? Welcome. You wonder what Buddhist chant is being recited in the background? If anybody knows, let me know. I have no idea. Okay, now what's happening? The world suddenly distorts. I should have saved it. Oh my god. A horrific scene appears before my eyes. This... This woman on the operating table... Some kind of experiment is being performed on her. Are they putting, like, spider arms on her? What is that? I must be seeing the past. Jeez. The sound triggers a change in views. Men in lab coats, holding surgical tools. But they don't look like they're alive. The ghosts of the researchers seem to be stuck forever in this nightmare of the past. I can hear the men whisper from my left side. Hey, she's awake. Don't worry. She'll be dead soon anyway. True enough. Then, something else interrupts. You. This time, it's a cold whisper from my right. You can hear me, can't you? Don't be afraid. Soon. The voice on my right cuts off, and I can hear the men in lab coats again. Oh crap. Here comes another one of these. And Buckbeak, without giving anything away, uh, Season 11, Episode 13, a lot happened, and it's definitely setting up for Episode 14. Wait, wait what were you watching again, Buckbeak? I'm trying to remember. Oh, you don't need one right now, Katamari? Good. Good. They're expensive still. <laughs> Oh, straw. I could see that, hearts. I could see that. It almost looked like it was hairy to me. Oh, in Mass Effect. Oh, nice. Such a fun game. I can't wait to continue that sometime. Hey, woman. Which of these tools do you want us to use to cut your neck? Oh, you're working on Walking Dead? Oh, these are the newest episodes, huh? I'm not caught up. I'm only caught up with whatever Netflix has, which I think they're like a season or two behind. This is it for you. So we'll let you decide. Um, what tool do you want us to use? A chisel. We know there is a chisel used. <laughs> Good answer. You're pretty smart. Unfortunately, you'll soon be saying goodbye to that clever head of yours. It's valuable material. We'll cut it off nicely. Okay, that was correct. <laughs> I don't think SLI actually works anymore, Katamari. Unless you have two 3090s. If you have two 3090s, you can SLI them. But I, I don't think it helps for video games. It's only used for, like, benchmarking. Stuff like that. Shut up. You're just like a pig. This is why I hate handling women. 
Game's getting messed up. Be patient. We finally found a clue. Not yet. Wait. Now, give you hour. The whisper from my right falls silent. Yeah, I never dreamed of breaking from our usual method would go so well. Hey pig, do you understand? Do you know the correct combination of head and body for the heavenly Buddha? It was male body, female head, right? Yeah, I think it's number two. Precisely. And that's why we need your head. Gladly offer it up for the sake of our beloved country. That's two for two. Pro gamer here. <laughs> oh, oh no. The problem is the soul freshness, regardless of refrigeration. It's all up to the quality of the cut. <laughs> this is so disturbing. Though there are only so many available methods, all this, uh, this is all the equipment we have. Then to the freezer. Or the locker? We saw it all in the locker. Let's see. We're getting into Saw hostile territory very much like a torture porn kind of horror thing, huh? The voices on our left cut out. A determined voice echoes in my right ear. Hate. 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 Hate this whole world. Tear it to pieces. I think that's her talking. I think it's her spirit. Kind of reminds me of that speech right there. Hate, hate, hate. Kind of like, um... I have no mouth and I must scream. Remember that game? The power to do that. I'll give it all to you, in the place where you hear me now. Hate them. Destroy them. Understand? Oh crap. Yes. <laughs> it's the only option. <laughs> sure, yeah, I understand. I like that, that was pretty clever. Good. Destroy them. They should have had like a maybe option down there <laughs> and you get killed immediately. When I return to my senses, I'm standing beside the operating table. Ooh. Just then, something slides out of the hand of the corpse on the table. A small key. Oh, wait. We haven't seen any of the locked doors, have we? There's that one door that we can unlock, but there's something blocking it. That's different. What? What I just saw? No, more importantly, the voices that kept speaking from my right side. Who was that? You don't look so great there. Did you see something by chance? Yeah, actually. I explained to Banshee what I just saw. A horrible tragedy happened here in the past. It was a tragedy. That's all it was. It's possible that whatever triggered it might have been whoever that voice belonged to. So the old guy that I'm chatting with, Katamari, he's this homeless guy that actually lives down here. And in our exploration, we ran into him. He wanted some help. We hooked him up, and he's kind of like part of our group now, essentially. Oh, the cabinet! Right, Katamari, I forgot about the cabinet key. Good call. Huh. Interesting. Can't say I'm surprised something like that happened here. So, what does that have to do with our marks? Well, I'm not sure about that part, but... Banshee's right. This isn't helping us accomplish our goal. We need to search for whatever gave birth to that spirit. Let's keep looking. That small key I just found might belong to the cabinet here. All the Katamari. I turn my attention to the mark on my wrist. It isn't coming yet. I glance over at the ban at Banshee, but they don't seem to be acting differently at all. Death should be slowly closing in on us, but it seems we still have some time. What's important right now is making sure we survive. Sweet. Good. We're not about to get murdered. That's always good. It seemed like it, Hearts, or the spirit opened up the hand that unleashed that key that we couldn't find before.
There we go. We open it up using the small key. Inside is an old gun and some research records. Is that two guns we have? Two swords, two guns? Suddenly, berserk. Severe damage. Sutra chanting. Complete insanity. Only those who made themselves deaf managed. Remain sane. Half spiritualize. Like disposal vat. Need sacred object. Attack. Destroy human head. Heart of all this. Need to destroy human head. That's all it says. So we're supposed to do something with the head that I thought was like helping us. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's not who they seem. Uh, let's go ahead and save it real quick. It's been a little while. Okay. Well, with that, um, I'm guessing we should probably try that one door that was always locked. This one, right? It still won't open. Oh, this time when we turn it, it turns smoothly with no resistance. Ah, uh, here's where they were trying to bring those Buddha statues back to life. Inside the room are a number of Buddha statues. They're all missing their heads. It seems this is where they stored all the various statues they gathered through theft or donations. Hmm. This is the statue storage room. There's some angry feelings here. What with all the handprints on the door? This has got to be the source that gave birth to the spirit. Oh, he looks terrified. I brace myself for input from the other me. But it doesn't seem like that's happening. Does that mean I should already know? <laughs> We're screwed in that case. Oh, do we have to go get Hero? Should I do that right now, Jimmy? And you wonder if we have any sutras for exercising the spirit of paper talismans? <laughs> that would be great, right? Okay, good. We get a chance right now. Especially if that's going to save me pretty soon here. So... I think there's a quicker exit if we go this way. Yeah, there's another exit that takes us to the place that had like a whole bunch of um, manholes. So we can get out this way. And then we should be able to go back to uh, the mansion. There we go. Okay, let's switch back to Iru. <laughs> What did that mean? I couldn't quite tell what she said there. Oh, see, now you can go to either place. I don't know if it's North Road or South Alley. I think South Alley is the closest one. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a good trade, does it, Katamari? Leave the... Although I would honestly prefer to stay in the creepy mansion than those underground bunkers. That's way more terrifying. Oh, I meant to ask, did anybody try that game Tunic? Have you tried that one? Oh, I picked the wrong place. That's okay. We can still get there from here. That uh, Tunic game looked pretty cool. Oh, that might have been it, Krem. That might have been it. In Japanese, of course. And then we want to go right... Yes. Okay, good. We're in the right place. Now let's save it. I love it when games have very quick saving options. It's a statue that looks like a divine general. It has the armor from the Tang Dynasty. Like, like orange Tang? I like Tang. It's a statue with its head cut off. It looks like it's, uh, it held a weapon in its left hand. We have a weapon. What do you know? It's a statue that looks like a Vidyahara, Vidyahara or something. It's missing one of its arms as well as its head. We haven't found any arms. So sorry about that, buddy. It's a Vaisravana statue, and it's missing a head. It's a statue with its head cut off. It seems to be holding some kind of Buddhist ritual, intimate, or ritual in implement. 
It's a statue that seems to be a divine general. Its head has been severed. Oh, and one on the ground, too. It's a statue with its head cut off. It's lying pitifully on the floor. I search all the statues. Every statue here has a male body. Suddenly, there's a sound of movement from within the box. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. And hearts. Guan Yu, the Chinese god of war, he probably carried a Guan Dao, which would, uh, which would, what the statue would be. And Vidya Raha was pronounced about as well as some of those Pokemon names. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Katamari. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'll be here all week. Expert at pronunciation. Okay, so something's moving in this box. That's not good. I think that's all we can look at in here. Alright, let's look at the box. What's in the box? Where's Christian? Um... It's coated with a thin layer of dust, but it seems to be in decent enough shape. The yield of the box. I managed to open the box. Sheets of white paper are inside. This is where they keep their printer paper? They seem to be a multitude of talismans. There we go. <laughs> he truly is, Jimmy. He truly is. <laughs> if he drops in, we'll have to let him know. Dude! There was tons of heads in boxes. You missed it. Was something sealed here? Hiro peers in, into the box beside me. So, was something in there? Well. Uh. <laughs> my voice sounds distant. The cause of the curse. What birthed the spirit? There's nothing like that here. No, there's nothing here. What? What do you mean? Then what's that in your hand? Hiro is right. It's not true that there's nothing inside. There is one thing. I never would have expected something like this. Something that doesn't belong here. A box sealed by talismans has enshrined. A... It's a comfy pillow. How nice. <laughs> What's the deal with this? All right, it's a Western style cushion. Hiru sighs, disappointed. Guess we're out of luck. No way this thing could give birth to a spirit. True. But the state of this room and the voices? Something important was definitely sealed up in this place at one point. Oh. <gasps> I just realized, Asifa, after we did the races, I forgot to drop a couple tokens for you guys. My bad. There we go. Catching up here. Yet, there's nothing here. Then the thing we're searching for, where the hell did it go? A long silence falls between us. Nice catches, Krem and Kano. <laughs> then it is for that now familiar pain flares up. Uh oh. Now it's getting to be time. The mark burns scarlet. It's immediately dyed a deep crimson. Death is only a few minutes away. What the hell? I thought the game usually gives us like incremental time. Like, first you get like four hours, then like half an hour. This is like immediately. I think we're about to get attacked. Ugh. What's going on? Is death closing in on us all of a sudden? No, it's... The spirit is here. <laughs> Frost upping the stakes. How's it going, Frost? Good to see you. Oh yeah, we're starting this. Whoa! Oh my god. That was the thing they sewed their arms on. <laughs> we are running for it. <laughs> oh, I love it. We tried to close the door on it. It didn't work. It was not effective. A low suture chant hum troubles the air. Trembles the air. It feels like my whole body is numb. It may be because of that hum. Oh, oh. Okay. Before we 
attack it. Um, is it here? Yeah. We're going to have to study this thing a little bit. <laughs> Wait, what is her name? I don't know the actual whole thing's name. It was like a cannon soldier or something, right? And uh, Elegant, you're doing good. Cooking some pork chops, which may be what you will become if you aren't careful. Touche. Touche. I love me some good pork chops. Nice. I, I think it's both. I mean, it's got a female head and male torso. All right. Um, so let's see if we can discover anything that might help us attack this thing. So my vision blurs when I return the head to the body on the table. Is the corpse's ghost showing me the past? Or is it a curse? The man in the lab coat has to be the ghost of the researcher here. The two ghosts are stuck in an undying nightmare. They cut off the woman's head with a chisel, then try to attach it to the Azura statue. That's obscene. Hatred overwhelms me. Just then, I hear the operating table woman's voice on my right. Hate, hate, hate. Hate the entire world and tear it to pieces pour all my strength into this place when I hear the voice. Hate kill. It sounds like a curse of some kind. And what's the voice she mentioned? Was that the voice made the cannon soldier move? The woman's head, having gained a special power, was put on the Asura statue. The cannon soldier awoke, either a curse or a grudge triggering its birth. It must be a spiritual being of some kind. That means I need an object with spiritual power. The Kagura Suzu Bell we found is used to be is used by priestesses. So then who would be the best to bring as my partner? Good call, Jumi. <laughs> um, the headless Buddha statues in the warehouse must be the ones stolen from the shrine. I finally found them. Uh, the one used to make the cannon soldier should be stored here. A box in the center has talismans planted all over it, as a ceiling in the source of the curse. But what we find in the box it was only a Western-style cushion. That's depressing. Is this the heart of the grudge? The source of the spirit? No way. Something was here. Something cursed. Something that might be able to stop the cannon soldier. As if to mock me even further, the mark warns me time is short. We'll just have to face the soldier with what we have gathered up until now. And facing the cannon soldier. Forget what we're missing and take stock of what we have. If we want to use the saber or short sword, will have to throw them. If the spirit is nebulous, like that spirit door, then the Kagura Suzu bell will be useful. And the blanks will mess up if our e will mess up our ears if we shoot them. But one document mentioned must destroy head. I'm not sure about all of this, but I can't give up if I want to live. So the swords will have to throw and the guns might be able to be used, but they have blanks. Okay, I think this is the beginning of it. Yeah, this is all the intro stuff, okay. All right, I think it's time. <laughs> Big brain pillow fight. And Jumi, you have faith that you can get the good ending with uh, this one on my own without confusion if you pay attention to the liver dies. <laughs> oh no. I mean, one of them I managed to fudge my way through. I might remember some of those lines. Although we can look at those too, right? That was under... Oh, wait, no. Those were on the wall, weren't they? I'm not sure if they'll show up here. Then there's this thing. Weapon code name. Heavenly Buddha. Project code. We never even used this. I'm not sure. I like that. Only those who manage to make themselves deaf remain insane. Or remain sane. Destroy human head is the key. Hmm. Seeing if there's any other clues in these research notes. Really see much. It's more just clues about the story, what's going on right now. 
Okay, so the first thing is always defense, I believe. So to defend ourselves... Am I missing items? Oh no. I feel like I should use um, the pillow to defend myself. I don't know that I can. All right, I'm thinking we need, we need to use the bell. Are we supposed to shoot this thing too? What's the difference between the pistols? A small palm-sized gun developed uh, by the army for self-defense. Uh, only has one bullet. And then there's this one. And this just has blank. Okay, so this is like a real bullet. We probably want to use that when it's close, I'm guessing. Let's try the ranged short sword, maybe. I guess that could also be used up close when... Uh, to destroy the head, maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you're right, Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Porple, not even to, like, distract it, but you, you've had to use, like, we used a bag of trash as, like, a shield one time from the first attack. That's kind of what I was thinking they were getting at. All right, let's try this. It's not a combo attack. Are there any combo attacks? There are not. Okay. Yeah, let's try this. <gasps> I lose consciousness. Oh, I should have had her use the bell, huh? Oops. I try to use the bell, but my arm won't listen to me and flings the bell at my head. The, Kag the Kaguro Suzu bell flies into the air. I get the feeling that we're not using it right. <laughs> Hero shoots the rain short sword blade. Hero was injured. Hero collapses. This is not going good at all. Aim the sword. I aim the sword at the spirits, but against my will, I swing it at my own head instead. Oh, is it causing us to like murder ourselves? Is that what's going on? My vision darkness. I can see the spirit slowly drawing closer. Ooh, 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 no. Those sound effects. There's another one for the death counter. 14. <laughs> okay, try that again. I think she needs to use the bell. Is there... That's so creepy. Can I abstain from attacking? I'm a pork chop. No. <laughs> because I feel like anything I try to do to attack, I'm going to hurt myself. Was there more details in those research notes that I missed? Let's see here. So this one just talks about male body, female head. This one talks about how they used a chisel, which you need for one of the clues. And then research notes three was probably the most useful. Suddenly berserk, severe damage, sutra chanting, complete insanity. Only those... Oh! So maybe we are supposed to make ourselves deaf first. If we shoot a blank... We'll both go deaf, and then maybe we can ring the bell. Let's try that. So I'm going to try using gun with blanks, and she can use the bell. Assuming mine goes first, that should work. I lose consciousness. I grab the gun, but I cannot control my hand. It turns the gun towards my head and fires. The blank explodes. My consciousness fades. There's a strong ringing in the ears, and it's preventing me from hearing the sutra chant. Hero is clutching their head like they can't hear anything either. Nice, it worked for both of us. The numbness has faded. Hero shakes the Kagu Kagura Suzuba. Nothing happens. <gasps> Cannon soldier yells, making my heart clench. How could we hear it? I thought we were deaf. Oh, it's coming. Okay, at least the chanting stopped. That's good. Okay, now I'm guessing we should uh, start blasting. <laughs> Let's do that. And... Oh, I don't know if I should use that because we're so close. Let's try this again. Keep using that bell. Hey, we wounded him! 
The spirit fades and becomes intangible. She rings the bell again, and it's more wounded. There we go. The spirit turns solid again. Ah, we keep getting injured every time it screams. Oh, crap. The bell is very important. I'm scared if I don't use the bell, it's going to just be able to kill us immediately. So now I'm going to use the actual pistol and the bell. Nice. The spirit fades and becomes intangible. And she shakes it. Oh, we need to keep shaking the bell to keep it so I can hurt it. Because um, if it becomes intangible, we can't strike it again, right? Oh, dang. We're not doing good. Oh, my gosh. That mouth is terrifying. Um, oh, now we can use the rusted army sword and the bell. Cadia slashes the rusted army sword. The spirit fades and becomes intangible. And then we shake the bell again. The spirit stops. I guess the attack finally worked. Out of nowhere, footsteps approach behind me. Oh, is that uh, our homeless buddy? Who is that? I hear coughing, and whoever it is puts their hand on my back. Diamond, is it you? What are you doing? Instead of replying, he shoves something into my hand. It's a large chisel with the grip stained in blood. This? I found it in that room. Room in the mansion. This is our buddy that I, like left earlier, right? In that instant, I understand everything. The heart of the curse that we were searching for. The object that gave birth to the spirit. So it was kept in Cujo Mansion. Thanks, I'm gonna use it. Elsa has like two creepy little hands right there coming off the side of the head, you see that? I grab the chisel and face the spirit. Large chisel and keep ringing that bell. Cadius swings the chisel down on the soldier. Oh! I don't remember anything specific about this. I can't go back either. <laughs> a purple, use the toothbrush, secret weakness. <laughs> With all those teeth, right? Um, I mean... At first, I would assume between the eyes, if you get, like, one chance at this. And if you need to definite, what side did she mention you could hear it from? Oh, we always heard her from the right side. So I'm going to say right ear. And it's her here. I mean, this gets confusing because you're talking about what side did we hear her from because we heard her from our right ear I believe like our right side what does that have to do with her ears though I guess if we are striking her I'm not sure how that makes any sense let's try it I jab the chisel at its right ear it stares at me dispassionately <laughs> I love that Oh, wow, you get that wrong. You probably still take care of the spirit, but not correctly, huh? Finally, it smiles and disappears. Or could we hear it in its right ear because it was kind of taking us over, I guess. If you get that wrong, it's probably six hours of lore before you get to the menu. Oh, no. I remember when that happened last time, Jimmy. The statue stops moving and collapses. It's it's stopped, right? <coughs> Looks like it. My mark's vanished, so it must be over. 
but not our mark. <laughs> we need the lore. Once again, I'm the only one still cursed. I'm grateful that I made it in time. That was a close call. Thanks for saving us, but you know that was pretty reckless. I thought I said it's dangerous for a group of mark bearers to go somewhere haunted. Yes, but this, this seemed important. And it saved our lives in the end. Tell us, Dr. Diamond, what happened at the mansion? To be honest, it's hard for me to logically explain it. But I'll tell you what happened. After you left, I chose to do my own research and investigation of the mansion. When I passed a certain room, my mark su started hurting suddenly. I went inside to look around and found a desk with chisels on it. We saw that same room with the dolls, yeah. Or we assumed it was for doll stuff. He must mean that room I found. My head was in a haze because of the mark at the time, but it seemed to me that one chisel was engulfed in a black light. I realize now that I must have had a spiritual encounter. But what made you decide that you had to bring your chisel here? You seemed sure it'd be effective against the cannon soldier. I'm not sure myself. I picked it up and I heard a voice. The rest was, well, instinct. It was what Banshee mentioned earlier. The heart of the curse that created the spirit. So I knew I had to give it to you. When I looked through that room before, Yasoka said the Kuju family used it to create Buddha statues a long time ago. It's possible that chisel was used to create the statue that became the cannon soldier. I don't know what that voice was that he heard. Probably something like the mysterious voice that guided me before. You know, I haven't heard it in a while. Because it was busy helping him. Nice, Jumi. Okay, cool. We can actually get to the real, the true end of the game now. That's all I can tell you. Now then, Kadia, should we go back to the mansion? We need to update Banshee on all that's happened. I didn't bother telling him anything. <laughs> yeah, screw Banshee. <laughs> yeah. Searching for documents on the mark, carting out all the statues. It'll take more than a day to do all that. We should get back to the mansion and figure out what to do next. <laughs> They're all like, what do you mean do next? We're saved. Screw you guys. I'm going home. What? We're leaving already? I wanted to examine this place. Are you crazy, lady? I glance at the statue fallen to the floor. Sorry, but you'll have to do that another time. Fine. In exchange, not one word about this shelter to anyone else. I'm going to study every inch of it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Damn, you almost died here. I know the danger's past, but you've gotten over this way too quickly. I'm impressed with your nerves of steel, or is it more willpower? You can say that again. Essentially, Katamari, yeah, he just kind of like, I guess I'll help you, and then he joined us, <laughs> almost unwillingly for us. We return to the concrete passageway. I might be imagining it, but... It feels like the air in here is a little less stagnant than it was before. Ah, good, we're out. We climb up out of the manhole with M New in M New South Alley. Banshee runs up on us, waving. Does nobody staying at the mansion? This ever-present smell wafts off him all. Oh. Figured I'd find you here. You gave me a shock, dashing out of the mansion like that, Diamond. The next thing I knew, my mark was gone. What happened? I just needed to deliver something. You really saved us. I'd rather not think about the consequences if you hadn't made it in time. I don't get it, but it sounds like you did good work, Diamond. Well then, if I must do my investigation another day, are we splitting ways here? Our marks are gone now. Katia still has his, though. This always happens. I'm used to it. 
<laughs> Literally every time. But now I might be able to change that. I finally discovered where the statues stolen from H Shrine are. I'm lost, but I'm glad for you. It's thanks to all of you. I'll figure the rest out by myself. You should all return to your regular lives. You're saying we should split up then. Uh, you sure you'll be okay? Well, they actually like want to seem to want to help. Everybody else has been like, "Peace, I'm gone. See ya." Something will work out eventually. Besides, this is Sayokujo's dying wish. I want to respect it. Huh. Well, thanks. I'll head back then. I've been missing all those chemical smells from the lab. Good to hear your research is exciting. But don't forsake your, your humanity over it and end up like Miss Zoo. Like I do that. It's not even funny, by the way. <laughs> that face. Oh yeah, Mr. Cadia. Whenever you want to get those statues, I'll help out. Until then, see you. I'll be off as well. Honestly, all this has put a strain on me. I'm barely staying upright. <laughs> He looks like he's about to die at any second. Whatever you do, don't collapse on your way home, please. Hey, Kadia. One day, I'm hoping to let the public know about the underground shelter. For the sake of the wandering souls without a proper burial. I'd like it if you helped with it. See you around. <laughs> They're all assuming we're going to survive this corpse. Or curse. Guess I'll go too. You're not returning to the shelter, are you? I'm not that brave. The soldier's gone, but there's plenty of other things down there. I'll give it a few days to settle. So you're still planning on going back? I'm not sure I'd call that a smart move. Comes with living this kind of life. I'll bunker down in the park or under a bridge until things calm down. See you, Katia. Bring more food next time. Yeah, that's right. He ate a ton of food. I'm surprised he doesn't want to go chill at the mansion for a little bit. Not like anybody else lives there. The former mark bearers have all left. I should probably head to the mansion myself. I've got to decide what to do next. I hear a voice calling from behind me. What the hell was that? He's back. I turn to see Banshee in the middle of the road, staring intently at me. What's wrong? I remember now. His eyes wide as saucers. I forgot because of the mark, but I, I've i met you before. Oh, see, our memory isn't all there either. So this is interesting. He actually remembers us from something. What? What do you mean? Ah, uh, well, let me think. He scratches his chin. I know his memories are probably all a mess having just gotten them back. But I don't have time to wait for him. I don't know, this seems important. I think you can spare some time, dude. Ah, yes. We first met five years ago. And then again, ten days ago. I feel like I've been struck by lightning. I first arrived at Kujo Mansion ten days ago. That means I met him before I lost my memories. I need to know, who in the world am I? I... I couldn't say. I wasn't interested in asking your name, and you didn't give it. Then tell me what you do know. Tell me about myself, please. Okay. I owe you for the food, so ask. What should I ask about? Five years ago, you showed up at the shelter, wanted to know about Heavenly Buddha Project, gave me food. Actually, you were more focused on the Kujo family than the cannon soldier. Why did we talk about, or, or why did we talk about them? The head at the time was majorly involved in the project. He was a famous for his spiritual power, so the army asked him to help. He loaned them a number of his family prized uh, sacred treasures. You really zeroed in on that bit. Do you know what exactly the army got? Yeah, the shelter had a list. A mirror, a chisel, Buddha statues, cursed objects, and holy talismans. They were all returned to the family. Which means they're all in the mansion now. 
You kept popping by a few times until one day you just didn't. Only saw you next, ten days ago. Next is... ten days ago. I just seen the cannon soldier, and you bet I booked it out of the manhole. I ran into you on the street. Had you treat me to food to celebrate. <laughs> That's right, because he knew we were looking for the cannon soldier. Thanks for that, by the way. Banshee's talking about the person I was before I lost my memories. It's weird to hear about myself this way. Talk about a existential crisis. You'd, uh, you'd mentioned you'd been overseas. You only came back recently, about a month ago. Oh, and that's when I learned of the mark. You told me about it. It had slipped my mind until just now. By that time, was my right arm... Yeah, it had the mark. Alright, so we've had it for a while. You were acting all odd, though. I guess at least a day before everything we thought when it was happening. You go to remember something, then stumble over your words. The curse was probably in the late stages. In fact, I'd completely forgotten my name and passed a few hours after that. By the by, I've got something to tell you. This here Banshee Ito is of much nobler character than regular folk. That's why I lead a detached life, away from the world's vulgarities. What are you trying to say? I could be crazy desperate, but I never shame my dear departed mom or divine providence. You understand? No, you lost me. I'm saying I never resort to stealing, even dying of hunger. Here, these are yours. Oh, would he steal something from us? He pulls out a wristwatch and a wallet. <laughs> wow. Each looks like an antique. They're inlaid with subtle designs. You forgot them at the restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> sure I did. <laughs> sure I forgot them. Let me see them. I grabbed them with I grabbed them both and rushed to open the wallet. But there's no ID inside. Great. Great. Yeah. Forgot. <laughs> there was no driver's license or company card with an ID in it when you got it. Don't ask me. You said you forgot your old wallet somewhere and I lost it. It was probably in there. Oh. A look at what else is in the wallet. Bills, coins, a number of familiar business cards. If there's bills, you should have your name. Saya Kujo, Spirit Healer. We had her card. Ah, those things. You tried to give me one. Told me to go there if I remembered anything. But I gave it back. I don't like to make a habit of carrying useless stuff. Saya Kujo's card was in my pocket when I first arrived at Kujo Mansion. It must have been the one Banshee returned. There's no doubt about it. I lost all my memories after I met Banshee. I've asked everything I want to know, but something's still bugging me. <laughs> so you haven't asked everything you want to know. You just asked all of the options I get to pick from. Did I say anything about the mark when you saw me 10 days ago? Hmm, well, I was so focused on eating that I wasn't paying full attention. Are you kidding? Oh yeah, you said the same thing as Hero said about the cannon soldier. There's no way a human head on a statue will make it move. But it did actually move. That's what I thought, too. And then... You said something strange. You said, what happened 50 years ago wasn't because of the project. It was all because of her. Her? That's not all. Got his face. He looks terrified. You said she gave you the mark. That she loved watching you lose your memories and fear death. You made her kick the bucket once. But she came back to life. You said you needed to do the same thing done 50 years ago to get rid of her. My heart wants to beat out of its chest. I can feel sweat run down my face. There's no way I can keep calm. 
Before I lost my memories, I'd known who had cursed me with the mark. The old man. Who's she? Did I tell you? I wanted to know too, so I asked. But you couldn't answer me. I don't think you were trying to hide it. You just honestly didn't remember. Was that because of the mark? Well, that's about all I could tell you. Katie, we should get going soon. Go where? I'll tell you in your car. He's going to come with us. Okay, good. Don't sleep under the bridge. <laughs> I'm real tired of standing. I'd like to sit for a bit. There's no point in arguing here. I'll just get him out of it once this is all over. <laughs> cool. All right. I think we're ready to go back to the mansion. But before we do that, I wanted to set up a little giveaway for you guys. Let me get this game paused real quick. Let's see. Actually, let's save it just in case something bad happens. <laughs> there we go. I don't know if there's like a pause to like silence the game. I don't think there is, but that's okay. It'll work just fine right there. Bam. Alrighty, guys. We're going to do a Steam game giveaway right now. So, uh, you get to use your tokens that you've been saving up and buy a ticket to do this. Let me just get it set up just one second. <laughs> Banshee's mighty sus. I don't know. It seems like Banshee's kind of being cool with us so far. I don't know if I feel like he's um, lying to us necessarily. All right. But you guys aren't trusting him with what he's saying right now? All right. Copy that over and done. Sweet. So this is going to be a Steam game giveaway. So go ahead and type exclamation point ticket in the chat to earn a chance for this giveaway. And just to kind of keep on the theme of a spooky game, this is also going to be a spooky game that we're giving away, kind of like the game we're streaming right now. So I'll give you guys about a minute or two to go ahead and join this. It only costs five tokens. You earn more than five tokens every time that you uh, watch a stream, typically. Usually you get one token every 10 minutes. So if you're here for an entire stream, you get about 18 tokens. If you're subscribed to the channel, you actually get twice that amount per stream. It's pretty dang spooky. Uh, another hint I can give you guys, it is a game we have streamed. I think we streamed it last year. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. It was super cool. It was really cool. I really liked it. I, although this game has some stuff in it, I have never played and never streamed. So I guess there's another hint. <laughs> there's mo more to this game than meets the eye. But yeah, on a spooky level, I'd probably say it's at least like a seven or eight. It's pretty dang spooky. Of course, you know, some games that are horror are more horror adjacent, not necessarily really scary. So this one um, is definitely more on the really scary side, I think. Give you guys another 30 seconds if anybody's um, kind of, uh, whatchamacallit, lurking and want to give them a chance to get back to the stream and join the giveaway. We'll give you guys another few seconds. And with this background, I actually lose track of all the avatars with those other characters in the background. <laughs> There's just so many characters there. That's cool. You guys, a few more seconds. We'll do that at two minutes. So eight more seconds. If anyone wants to join, going once, going twice, closed. Ooh, you guys have a 50, 50% 50 chance of winning this. Drum roll, please. Drawing a winner. Krem. Congratulations, Krem, with the 50 50 coin toss chance to win. What creepy Steam game did you win? I bid you welcome to my cabinet of perturbation. A set of recordings have been prepared to chaperone you through the chambers ahead.
Nice. Congratulations, Krem. I'm not sure if you've played that one before. We streamed the first Amnesia game. I think it was last year for Halloween, and it was super scary. And there's a sequel in that Steam code as well for the Machine for Pigs, and I have not played that one at all. And I think it also said it came with some DLC for the first game that I actually haven't, I didn't even know there was DLC. So that's pretty sweet. So congratulations again, Krem. Super creepy game. Let me just uh, mark this giveaway as complete. Done, there we go. All right. And you never finished the first one? It's really good, Katamari. It's intense though, it is definitely intense. Okay, let me get back into here. Whoops, wrong screen. There we go. Okay, now we're back. Oh, interesting. As I highlight the mouse. Oh, I see. I've never used the mouse to play this game. I'm always using um, the controller. So I wasn't used to seeing those commands on the screen. Alex, how's it going, Alex? You dude, how are you doing? What's new? Okay, so we should probably save it, actually. That's not a bad idea. We definitely made a lot of progress. I wasn't sure if um, anything had been blocked, Alex, because I hadn't seen you in a couple days. It's good to hear from you, dude. All right, so now I think we're going back to the mansion. There we go. Nope, the mansion's out of the way. Oh, we're not going there? Oh, no, that was the old guy saying that. Banshee clambers into the back seat of the car. His heavy scent fills the enclosed space. Ah, I can finally catch my breath. Now then, driver, take us to the forest by H Castle. Is that the forest where we found that creepy bee guy, I think? Oh, it's no worries at all, Alex. I'm, I'm glad to hear that's the case and not that like anything had been like limited or stuff like that with everything going on. I wasn't sure exactly what has been like shut, uh, shut down or blocked and stuff like that. So I'm glad to hear that you can still make it on here. Um, how about Discord and stuff? Is that still working for you? Good, good. Fingers crossed those are going to continue working for sure. Oh, absolutely you could, Krim. Yeah, absolutely. Play it forward. <laughs> so I drive down the familiar road. All the lights along the way are strangely green. And Discord is working too. Nice. Oh, that's good to hear. We reach our destination without having to slow down the car once. The engine chugs along. I feel the wheels of fate turning like those on the car I'm riding in. Ten days ago, I promised. In exchange for you buying me an extra order of almond jelly. Almond jelly? If you did forget everything, I'd take you to H Shrine. Sounds like I prepared for everything. But if I was that careful, why didn't I leave myself a clue? Okay, now it's starting to sound a little fishy. Guys, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is sounding a little weird. Why prepare if I was just going to forget? Did the curse progress faster than expected so there wasn't time? Or did someone get rid of it? But if I had business at H Shrine, why didn't I go there while I still had my memories? Something about timing. Waiting for some magic summer cleaning to clear away the impurity. <laughs> now, Alex, I, I gotta say, I do think Facebook sucks, but I wouldn't call them an extremist organization. <laughs> but yeah, I did hear about Instagram. That sucks. I, I don't use it myself personally, but I know a ton of people do. Suddenly, my old self echoes in my head. I speak the words out loudly, slowly, or loud slowly, as realization dawns. The summer purification rites. They're rites held at shrines to exorcise evil. On the last day of June, you pass through woven reeds to cleanse yourself. I was trying to use that ritual to exorcise the impurity. Ah, gotcha. Luckily, today's the first day of July, so the rites or whatever are done. Should be no problem now. Exercise the impurity, huh? What kind of impurity was I trying to cleanse? 
The more I learn, the less I understand. My previous self is like a complete stranger to me. Oh, I don't think so, Krim. I don't think he saw that or replied. Although I think Katamari might already have it. At least he said that he started playing it but didn't finish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good, we need a break. We need some levity here right now. Thank you. Very do. Time does fly 13 months. How is it going, Fairy Do? What is new? What have you been up to? It's good to see you again. It's been a little while. What's new? Did you uh, have a good weekend? Thank you again so much for the sub. What are you up to? 13 months, over a year already. That's incredible. <laughs> it sounds like Amnesia is not everybody's type of game, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I could definitely see how it is a um, acquired taste for sure. Alex, nice jump. You got all three of those, Alex. Good job, dude. Okay, so how many times have I come to this forest now? I think this is our third time. Uh, the creepy arch and thick trees look the same as always. At least this is the third chapter we've come here in. You know where H train is, right? Lead the way. You never been there? First I heard it was 10 days ago. <laughs> yeah, you got two and then you also got that third one at the very end. That was a good catch. Banshee and I push through the vegetation and make our way down the beast trail. Good, because I forgot how to get there. We pass under the stone Tory gate. Yep, this looks familiar and finally arrive at the desolate H shrine. Jumi, I was thinking there was going to be kind of like a go back, rest, and kind of start the whole process over again with like another spirit. This is almost making me feel like we're really close to the end. The few headless Buddha statues that are left at the uh, at left shrine in the light of the flashlight. So the statues used in this project were stolen from here? Yeah, that's right. Is it really the statues are connected to the mark somehow? We hope so. Hey, Michael. What's going on, Michael? Good to see you, man. And it's been a while since you've been to stream. Uh, the last few months of grad school are killing you. Glad to see the creepy, scary games are still your cup of tea. Oh, that has not changed at all, Fairy 2. <laughs> not at all. No. I got my I got my quirks of games I like. I like horror. I like adventure games. I like retro games. I like anything with a good story. And if it's twisted, even better. Even better. So, Michael, I think we might be really close to the end. What just happened is we were exploring that underground bunker, you know, where there was those experiments with, like, the statues, and they were trying to turn them into, like, basically killing machines. And um, we discovered that we needed to put a woman's head on one of the statues to kind of, like, make it alive. Anyway, once we discovered that, we ran out of time, and the thing attacked us. We took care of that statue, and now we just found out that this old guy, because he was, his curse was cured, so his mark was gone, he's starting to get his memories back. And he's telling us that he remembers us from the past, and that five years ago we were researching the statues and everything, trying to figure this out. And he also talked to us right before this whole game started, essentially, before we lost our memories. And um, we were talking about coming here after some stuff had been cleansed to like work, uh, do some ritual with the statues. So that's where we're at right now. And hopefully this gets us to the bottom of the curse that actually marked us. We're not sure. Everybody else has been saved, though. Everybody but us. And how are you doing, Michael? How's your weekend? And uh, Fairy Dew, also, um, are you getting pretty close to the end here? It's already March. I'm not sure if you have like a full six month semester or are you on the quarter system? Uh, how close are you to be done with your classes? So uh, we say, I've considered the possibility that the mark was caused by their divine wrath. But 10 days ago, you said what happened 50 years ago wasn't because of the project. It was all because of her. This course I've been following this whole time. Then at some point, 
I had to have been fed some huge lie. But what could it be? A shudder runs through me at the thought. It feels like I'm looking into the depths of hell. You said t t ten days ago that the altar holds something important. Something about needing to keep it here to exercise the impurity. Oh, I'm doing really good, Michael. We're actually having some great weather where I live right now. Like today it was in like the low 80 degree Fahrenheit uh, temperatures, which is great. So nice. And I'm hoping if those temperatures stick around through the weekend, I might do some barbecuing this weekend. He approaches the small altar and puts his hand on the sliding door. Huh? What's going on here? The thing's empty. Don't ask me. It was already gone when I was here earlier. Well, that's darn weird. You said there was a cloth pouch. What was inside? A small fist-sized statue. A... Uh, Neji Butso or something. It was the Go Shintai for the shrine. The Kujo head used it in the shelter to stop the mess 50 years ago. And again, it's the Kujo family. They must have strong ties to the mark. Huh. And we keep saying her. I wonder if any of the characters we've befriended already was actually the one that cursed us and we had lost our memory. Maybe even the head of the household that we found dead or something. Oh, it's been raining all day there. Oh, no, Michael. Although, honestly, I would also take rain because in California, we need rain desperately. <laughs> we need lots and lots of water. Well, this is about all I can do for you. At least it was enough to pay off for the dessert. We should head back, son. Right. I'm still unsure about what my old self was thinking, but... It's clear whatever plan I had didn't work. <laughs> Do a rain dance. You know, Krem, the only rain dance I know is hand washing my car. If I spend a lot of time washing my car, guaranteed to rain in the next day or two. Works like a charm. So where did the Nenjibutsu go? A little statue that was supposed to be in there. On the way back, I feel reluctant to go. I keep turning to look toward the shrine. Each time I do, Banshee hurries me on to the forest entrance. Okay, Banshee's acting weird. I don't think I trust him. Well, this is where we part ways. You're not going to ride back with me? I'm going to be honest with you. I got a bit car sick on the way here. Flat roads were fine, but the curves and hills did me in. Banshee is feeling very sus. I just got a nice meal, and I'd hate to throw it up, so I'll walk back. But it's pretty far from here. Kids are such wimps these days. When I was young, I used to walk across the Himalayas all the time. This ain't nothing. His laugh is loud enough for the whole forest to hear. He waves and leaves me alone. Once he's out of sight, I get into the car. I think he's going back to the shrine right now. <laughs> I love it. Nobody trusts this banshee. Nobody. I pull out of the deserted parking lot and drive back to the mansion. As I count the streetlights passing by, I go over everything Banshee told me. See if we got our facts straight. Fifty years ago, in the shelter, the cannon soldier went berserk, but it wasn't because of the army's experiments, it was her. The army was unable to stand up to the threat of her and the soldier, but the Kujo family head used the Nenjibutsu to settle everything. However, she still exists in this time period. She was the one who gave me my mark. Before I lost my memories, I was planning on using the Nenji Butso like they did before. I left it at eight shrines so it could be cleansed of its impurity, but somewhere along the line, it went missing. Let's see. And Michael, you forget her name, but the girl who sings in the band, is she still with you? No, everybody's taken off, Michael. Yeah, we actually had saved her in the last stream and she was gone. 
and just maybe 20 minutes ago we saved the rest of this group so everybody left us except for the homeless guy he's acting very very uh, shady banshee is and I don't know what he's up to the past me probably couldn't have predicted that that would happen oh Alex you're moving in with your girlfriend that's fantastic news dude how fun and you mean move to her apartment it's not that spacey, but it's time to stop delaying everything. Life's short after all. True that, Alex. Assuming your family and stuff don't have any kind of like strong opinions and beliefs about not moving in until you're married or anything like that, I think it's a great idea. In my opinion, from my experience, you do not truly know somebody until you live with them. Because, you know, when you go out on dates with your girl and have a good time, maybe even spend a week together, you can be on your best behavior. You know, like your cleanliness, your this and that. You're always like putting on a show. But when you live with somebody day in and day out, eventually you're going to see their true side. And that's a great test for the relationship. Find out how compatible you really are over a long period of time. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. A big step. Okay, we're almost back at Cujo Mansion. As my drive comes to an end, I focus on what the most important detail is. That's right, who she is. I have a hunch about her identity, but I can't be sure yet. Oh yeah, there was that thing. Hmm, what could that have to do with her? And that definitely proves she was there. 50 years ago, she made the cannon soldier move down in the shelter. The Cujo family's head sealed her. They wouldn't have brought her to the mansion, or they would have brought her to the mansion. The sacred objects for the project, of which she was one, were returned to the Cujos. Wait a second. I think I have an idea of who she could be. I'm not going to say anything, but I have an idea. The grip, I gripped the steering wheel tighter. Oh, nice, Alex. So yeah, you've already spent a ton of time with her. This will be so much fun. If there was any way to defeat her, it just has to be in the mansion. I don't have any solid proof, but the fragments of my memories are whispering to me. <laughs> if you're right, Katamari, you're a smart one. The entrance doesn't look any different. Oh, it's getting bad again. My mark burns. The sharp pain nearly brings me to my knees. It seems she has no intention of hiding her presence any longer. Uh oh, are we about to fight another spirit? I don't have any new items. Uh, let's save it. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that. She's back. Guess who's back? Back again. So, we meet again. Mary's voice, soft. <laughs> oh, have fun, Alex. You take care, dude. Yeah, when they showed the red pillow, that made me think, why would you need to put a pillow to like hide someone in that box. It made me think, oh, maybe like the doll, you put the doll in a pillow or something. And I didn't think about it, but the pillow goes with this couch, right? I now know behind those words is, is hidden an intense lust for blood. Do I have anything to protect myself with? You came back to life rather quickly. Yeah, she was like shattered everywhere with a dead rabbit on her. You gave me nearly a whole day, more than enough time. I admit that rabbit's attack surprised me. <laughs> that was the rabbit that did that? <laughs> Go rabbit. Oh, and she fought back and also killed the rabbit. But unexpected events can themselves be rather enjoyable. When I had brought Mary to H-Shrine, we caught sight of the rabbit there. 
It might have suspected Mary's true nature. Oh, that rabbit. Its great love for you pushed it into recklessness. What was that rabbit really? Determine that for yourself. Who are you? Know that, and the answer will come. Though it is impossible so long as you bear the mark I gave you. Mary gave me the mark. Good guess, Michael. Good guess. I mean, we always thought this doll was creepy, but after a while, I, I started to trust it, for sure. But it was kind of sudden and weird that it got destroyed, you know, without any kind of... We didn't know about it. We just kind of stumbled upon it. That was kind of interesting. So now it makes so much more sense. I had a hunch, but hearing it from her lips fills me with dread. Just what are you trying to accomplish? Dragging the living to the depths of despair before killing them. I believe I explained that it is the spirit's utmost desire and joy. And I had your cooperation with achieving that, oh God. <laughs> That's very true, Jumi. <laughs> like Chucky. <laughs> Play with me. <sighs> and you've seen images of Mary and you didn't know who she is. Oh, Krem. Like, um, creepy images or just the images we've already seen of her? Cooperate? That's ridiculous. Oh, have you not realized yet? You did bring those pathetic mark bearers directly to the spirits, did you not? That's so creepy. I love that artwork. They feared the spirit's existence, trembled in the face of death. I savored the taste of that fear and despair. Most delicious. You had all of us help out, just to terrify the mark bearers even more? Clearly. I could have waited for the curses to complete if I only wanted them dead. That is not the only lie. Mark bearers must stay in small groups. Do not contact outsiders. All my instructions were to drive you into a state of emergency. And not once did you doubt me. <laughs> That's true. We followed her rule book to a T. I bet she's telling me all of this because she wants me terrified with how hopeless a situation I find myself in. Oh, some screenshots of the game? That makes sense. I'm frozen in place, and I know my face must be as pale as death. She must be loving this. Don't tell me you created all those spirits just to accomplish that. Indeed. When Lady Christie believed divine wrath was what caused the mark, I had never been more amused. Her foolishness was so delightful, I just had to come along with you. So you lied. Of course. How could I pile up broken statues, or how could a pile of broken statues possibly do anything? I could be imagining it, but I feel like she hesitated for a moment there. Fifty years ago, I was sealed away by the head of the Cujo family. I awoke here five years ago. At the time, I was still unable to speak and communicate, but it seems my awakening alone caused a number of ripples. Those who died of fortunate deaths on cursed land became monstrous spirits. The H elementary abuse, the honeybee mass suicide, psychos assault and suicide, they all happened five years ago. I finally regained my full power a little over a month ago. But then, uh, then the Buddha statue connected to me 50 years ago began moving. The woman killed by the statue was also influenced by my, pi my power. That must be the cannon soldier and Zukawa. Zukawa believed it was the divine oracle from the soldier when it had really been Mary. She did as the great Asura said and transformed herself into Miss Zu. Once my strength returned, I again bestowed my power upon spirits. It connects humans to me and manipulates them into a panic. The Mark. I know you've been toying with us, but, well, was there really a need to make us connected to you in some way? Of course. By letting in direct contact with you, I could taste your fear. Even now, 
Are you scared of me, Lord Katie? I, I've always been scared of you. <laughs> Not even just now. Let's stay silent. Be strong. So you are terrified to the extent that it steals your speech. Her porcelain face cracks. Ever since you declared that you would fight the mark, I have waited eagerly for this day. Oh gosh. Slowly breaking apart. Over the past ten days, I have tasted your fear through the mark. Thick and syrupy, as sweet as honey. Each savored morsel made me want to smash you to pieces. But I waited. I am not so foolish as to kill a goose that lays golden eggs. Oh no. It's getting creepier as it breaks. Ah, uh, but I cannot take it anymore. Like crushing, uh, uh, like crushing a ripe fruit is sipping its juices. I want to break you down and savor your sweet fear. Oh God! <laughs> Didn't like that. Oh my Lord! Oh crap! The lights are out. The mark has died a deep crimson. A few minutes left until death closes in. Oh, this is our last chance. My thoughts blur together suddenly. What happens to a mark bearer right before dawn? I've seen it many times. Is that what's happening to me now? Oh, when we lose our memory and everything. Lord Cadia, wait for me. I'll kill. kill. I can hear Mary stand up over by the sofa. I thought you couldn't move, Mary. Although she is a liar face. At this rate, the rabbit's fate will be mine too. Oh dear God. I have to run away. Check within the red in my room. Check within the red in my room. Something whispers in my ear. That's right, that voice. But what does my room mean? Focus. Who does that voice belong to? Yasoka? She said. It was someone who loved me. I get. Do I get to pick which room I run to? <laughs> this is going to be stressful. Mary's coming closer. Where should I run? Oh, this is cool. Uh, let's go to... Is it Saya's room? I think it's Saya. We don't know if that's correct or not. I sprint at full speed up the stairs and fly into Saya's room. Oh, I think that was correct. Okay, good. Much like the entrance hall, it's dark. Okay, so in the red, could that be the blood stain we have to check out? The voice said, check within the red in my room. Is something there? But where should I look? The blood stain. Floor. Something buried underneath there? Saya Kujo's blood stain is still on the floor. It's obviously dry at this point in time. There might be something lying on top of it. I can't be sure it's too dark. Nothing was there last time I was here. Picking it up, I discover that it's a small pouch. Inside is a hard, thin object. It's that little doll that was not in the um, uh, the shrine. I move over to the moonlight to see it better. Oh, I think that's it. It's a small Buddha statue. It can't be. Is this the Ninjibutsu? It seems to be stained with blood and I get an ominous feeling from it. The impurity, it hasn't been exercised yet. Yeah, look at all the weird, creepy blood markings on it. I instinctively know the instant I see it. My mind is suddenly flooded with all of my memories of the Ninja Butso, one after another. 50 years ago, the head of the Kujo family used this to steal Mary's power. He put the nin uh, Ninja Butso inside her to seal her. Then, about a month ago, someone took it out. That person was me. 
Aha! We did do some planning, huh? Because of that, Mary regained her powers. The ninjabutsu in my hand looks exactly as it did back then, full of impurity. Impurity that's built up from sealing Mary's power 50 years ago. Ah, so it was, it was gonna fail anyway. We needed to, we have to clean this thing, put it back in there, like seal her up, I guess? To cleanse it, I left the ninja buto at the uncontaminated age shrine. It would take that time to exercise all of the impurity. It's already July, the summer purification rite is over. So why is it still impure? That poor bunny. <laughs> the object the rabbit had in its mouth. It could have been carrying the pouch then instead of the master key. Then the ninjibutsu was taken away from a shrine before the beginning of July. Maybe the rabbit saw Mary by the shrine and was scared that she would find it. So it had no choice but to steal it away. Mm, that makes sense. The door to the adjacent room opens. Mary must be looking for me. Oh, crap. But she can sense the presence of mark bearers. What's going on? Wait, is it possible that Saya's blood is protecting me? Bring it to where I met my end. I mean, that's where the rabbit left it, right? The voice whispers in my ear again. If this isn't where the voice's owner died, they must have met their end elsewhere. There's only one other place. Wait, where else could she have died? Didn't we see her corpse on the floor? It was like covered in vines and stuff, and then it like suddenly disappeared, and it was just this big blood stain, right? Is there another place we saw a corpse? I don't remember. While Mary is in the room next door, I sprint down to the entrance hall. I make a beeline to Mary's sofa and the spot where the rabbit died. The voice that spoke to me and helped me every time the spirit was closing in. If Saya was working through anything, it must have been that rabbit. I know, Krem, that poor bunny. <laughs> Sensing something, I look down at my hand. Hey, it's clean. The ninja buto impurity is gone. This is... Oh, is this what you've been telling me, Saya? I speak to the departed woman who's guided me as I struggled without memories. Put the ninja butso, the source of the doll's curse, press it to the black mark. The black mark on me? The black mark on the doll? <laughs> then the whispers stop. Oh no. The floorboards creak ominously. I raise my head to the staircase, rising into the darkness before me. That's true, ours is red. I think hers is black. A dark figure stands on the landing. I found you. That is super creepy. Whoa, what is going on here? The mark scorches me. My head goes blank. That's not good. Oh god, it's coming. Hey, welcome back, Elevi. Your phone finally charged. <laughs> oh, they just got back from the emergency hospital. I hope every everybody's doing good. How is everybody? Mary's coming closer. My body won't listen to me. Whoa, holy crap. Mary closes her hands around my neck. She's trying to kill me. That's not good. Are we dead? Oh, good. I squeeze the ninja butso, and the fog that's impeding my thoughts lifts. It's still a struggle to think. I should be able to move my arm now. Put the ninja butso on the source of the curse. I only have one chance. Where should I stick the ninja butso? On her arm. Oh, it's her 
left arm. Or it's her right arm. Her right arm. Our left. I believe. I managed to drag my impossibly heavy arm and stick the ninja bootso on Mary's right arm. Yep. Yeah, I remember this picture. It's her right arm. She's hiding it. But I'm sure that's where the black mark was. Andrew! How's it going, Andrew? Welcome! It is going very well. I think we are reaching in the creepy climax of this game. Oh, good night, Ellaby. Have a good night. How are you doing, Andrew? Have you seen this game before? Oh, it's so creepy. Marks bloom on Mary one after the other. Yes, I think we got it. They're all the color of blood. It's like they're curses of those she killed. Oh, dang. She did not disappear like that wispy mist. She actually exploded in blood. I'm not sure. Where does that leave us? <laughs> oh, Jumi, almost the end? Or is it? Mary shatters into dust. Did I really do it? I hesitantly look down at my right arm. Oh, God. Is the curse still there? The mark is gone. I, I did it. I finally did it. I have to say it out loud to convince myself. A victory at the expense of Saya's life. I can't claim it's completely over, but there's no harm in being relieved for now. The fog clouding my head clears away. My memories slowly return to me. Good question. Now hopefully we will know exactly who we are, Katamari. I look around the dimly lit hall again. Oh, Andrew, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. I know this mansion well because I'm... Wait a second. Are we like the owner of the mansion? Was Saya like our wife? Because the doll keeps calling us Lord Cadia like we own the place. The clock on the second floor begins chiming wildly like it did 10 days ago. When I make my way to it, it stops. Almost as if it has a will on its own. That's right. This grandfather clock, I think a skilled ancestor of the Cujo family crafted it. That one chisel may have been used to make it. That's right. Inside this clock. I open the door and stick my hand inside. My fingers brush something hard. Taking it out, I realize it's a voice recorder. I press the play button. Did we record ourselves from the past and we're going to find out more info? What is this? This on? This is Masamune Kujo. It's a man's voice. A voice I know all too well. It's my voice. So we are like the head of the Cujo family. I decided to leave this record behind in case something should happen. That doll may dispose of any files or documents. I'm banking on her overlooking a piece of technology. As I listen, I start to remember recording this. I'd done it right before I received the mark from Mary. Now, where should I begin? It started five years ago, two years after I became the Cujo family lead. My sister, Saya, oh sister, and I found the doll in a wood box while sorting the warehouse. The moment I broke the seal and saw her, I could sense something sinister. But it took a while longer to fully understand what she truly is. 
If only there had been records. But great-grandfather, who sealed her, didn't leave any before his early death. Because of that, his descendants weren't told about the doll. <laughs> yep, <laughs> nailed it, Michael. Ask and you shall receive. I managed to learn the doll had been loaned to an army lab during the war. A strange old man who lived in an underground shelter told me. Then I went overseas to try to get more information on the doll. But I got into an accident while away and was presumed missing. So Saya became the new family head. I wasn't able to contact her until after she had inherited the title. It wasn't something worth contesting. So I explained everything and had her keep the facade that I was missing. Public records still stated Masamune Kujo was very much alive, of course. I couldn't have used my passport or license otherwise. I'm off topic. Sorry. That's funny because it's a recording. Yeah, you would do that. I only just returned to the country last week. Other psychics abroad all agreed it would be bad to leave the doll be. The ninjabutsu inside the doll still suppressed its cursed power, but I realized that it was almost at its limits. If I left it alone, it would crumble. Then it'd be impossible to suppress the cursed power of that doll. That was the worst case scenario. But what had to be done? The answer I came up with was to remove the ninjabutsu from the doll temporarily. The, its impurity would be cleansed after a month stored in a pure area. And then I'll place it back in the doll. If I succeed, the doll's power will be sealed for a few more decades. But the problem is that one month, I have no idea what kind of curse will be released when the doll is sealed or unsealed. I'll do whatever I can to prevent disasters, but my power can't compare to the ninja Butso. I can't guarantee anything. There may be victims again, like the tragedy 50 years ago. But this is a necessary evil. It must be done in order to prevent even more people from falling victim. Therapy Android, it's good to see you. How are you doing, Therapy? It's great just to see your voice on here. Always been worried and thinking about you, hoping everything is okay where you're at. How are you doing, Therapy? We're just re uh, wrapping up, I think, uh, this creepy, creepy game. <laughs> so it must be done in order to prevent even more people from falling victim. After this, I'll disassemble the doll and remove the ninja boots. Or chapter five, sorry. That was if we get the bad ending, right, Jimmy? <laughs> I pray everything goes according to plan and the worst of all evils is avoided. I forgot that we didn't start a chapter six properly um, when we took out that last ghost. It didn't actually like wrap up things, I guess. I hope this record isn't needed. But if the one listening to this has a loved one who's fallen victim to the curse, then I'm very sorry. <laughs> yeah, a few people have been cursed. Oh, this game's good and creepy. Yeah, I've gotten messed up a few times in this. I've already had 14 deaths. I don't think I've ever died that many times in a visual novel game, <laughs> but it's good and creepy. Disturbing. Very disturbing. The recording ends there. But so glad to hear you're doing well, Therapy. That's great to hear. We miss seeing you around here. Damn it. I clench my fists so hard, my nails dig into my palms. Yes, the voice on the tape was mine, but I'm furious with it. I don't know that person at all. The mark has claimed so many victims over the past month. Even I lost my little sister, Saya. Was she just another inevitable victim that the voice spoke of? I... Hmm... I mean, this isn't like a life or death situation. Let's just say we can't forgive him. There's some messed up stuff. That, or, or, I mean, it's a curse. Like, I don't know. It seems like it had to be done. They were doing the best they could with the situation, I suppose. Let's do that. True crim. Yeah, actually, uh, I can't see. I just cut my nails today because it was getting to the point that anytime I closed my hand, 
my nails were digging into my palm, so I had to do the same thing. Okay, we'll say it had to be done. It had to be done. I'm John Cadia, but I'm also Masamune Kujo. I understand why he felt as if he had to do that. It was his fate. The Kujo family are forever linked to that cursed doll. Ah, so that's the end of chapter five. Now we are properly starting the final chapter. Now, Jumi, because we're getting pretty close to having to wrap up here, is this one kind of the same length as most of the other chapters in this game? I was going to say, if this is like a real short one, we might just try to power through it. But if it's a normal sized chapter, we'll finish it up next stream. Two months have passed. What? And that felt like the end of the game, didn't it, Katamari? I think this is because we, through with Jumi's assistance, accomplished everything correctly. So we actually get, I think, more content and possibly the true ending. So two months have passed. The occasional cool breeze signals that the summer is almost over. I spent my time putting the case of the mark to rest as best as I can. I put Saya to rest by burying the rabbit and contacted the surviving mark bearers. Putting the Buddhist statues in place of honor was also one of those tasks. It's decent sized. Okay, so we won't be finishing it right now. And you have like nine and a half years of lore. <laughs> Only nine and a half. Uh, I'll be like 50 years old by then. Um, they weren't connected to the mark after all, but I couldn't just leave them there. Um, also, therapy. How, how have you been? What have you been up to? You been playing any new games or any new projects going on? What's new? Plus, there was no way Christie'd keep quiet about those statues. So with her guidance and Yasoka, Diamond, and Banshee's help, I carried the broken statues out of the shelter and returned them to Age Shrine. By now, my memory has completely returned. Things didn't quite go as originally planned, but at least the danger has passed. I don't think my decision as Masamune Kujo was wrong, but... At times, waves of powerlessness and despondency overwhelm me. When I think of the victims of the mark, and of Saya in particular, my chest hurts. Oh, nice. That game was so good. I want to go back and actually like try to get some of those secrets because Doom, both of Doom Eternal and Doom 2016 did a great job of showing you where the secrets are on the map, but they're still tricky to get. Yeah, those would be great games to revisit. I want to do something for them as the new head of the Kujo family. About the memories I've regained. I became the Kujo family head seven years ago. I'll admit, I was a bit of a recluse. I left the public appearances to Saya, preferring to stay out of the spotlight. The only photos of me are from small local newspapers. I uncovered Mary by accident in the family's warehouse five years ago. It was a discovery that changed my life. I heard that they had shut some of that stuff down, Therapy. I wasn't sure how many of them actually did, though. Steam as well? Dang. But you can still play the ones you've already purchased. And I also thought I heard something about um, Russia basically saying, like, and I, I understand why, like, don't worry about piracy. Basically, if companies are not going to, like, sell goods here, we're not going to consider it illegal to pirate that stuff. Which, that's how I feel about emulation. You know, like, if I want to play an old game, but there's no current console, computer, storefront, or anything that I can actually buy the game, I don't have a problem emulating it. Which, in a way, is piracy. So, like, that makes sense. That makes sense. That really sucks, though, therapy. I really hope that... Things can get wrapped up as safely and quickly as possible. Things get back to normal because that's that kind of suck. I don't know how much other stuff that you use has already been shut down. Uh, Alex was here earlier mentioning that Instagram had shut down, but at least um, YouTube and uh, Twitch were still working and Discord, I guess. So that's good. Not everything's shut down, but a few things have for sure. Probably a lot of like things that require money, you know, because that's one big thing they're trying to do first is mostly stop any money transactions because that eventually filters into governments and stuff like that. 
I traveled extensively abroad in order to learn more about Mary. What about Mary? <laughs> you guys seen that movie? In one country, I got into an accident and fell into a coma for half a year. Even worse, that country proceeded to treat me as an unidentified traveler. I don't know if that was merely my terrible luck or if Mary's curse has something to do with it. How's that working? We were just talking about that. Samuel Gordon, somehow our friendly neighborhood serial killer, is gifting subs. Samuel Gordon, thank you so much for the gift sub to Dingo. They will be so thrilled to see that. So that's still working though. How is that working? Unless, unless it was created under like a different, um, what would you call it? Like a different region or something, I suppose? I don't know how that works. Or does, is that part not blocked? I suppose yet. Well, thank you very, very much, Samuel Gordon. <laughs> that was too kind of you. Oh, good idea, Alex. I mean, that's, in a way, it's a really cool feature of this stream for my viewership is that when folks like to collect the tokens to like request games and buy avatars and stuff like that, you end up spending more time in the stream. It's a win-win situation. <laughs> um, and it's funny, we were just talking about you, Alex. Uh, therapy was able to jump in. I, I don't know if I, that was merely my terrible luck or if Mary's curse had something to do with it. When I was finally able to contact home, Saya had already become the new head. Good catches, by the way, Krem and Alex. Nice. Perfect timing, Alex. The rest was as the tape said. Hey, you already made to 100 tokens, Michael. Nice. <laughs> Nasty things? No, never, Alex. Never. No, I was just saying that you were talking about how some things were blocked. And therapy was confirming that I think the PlayStation Store and Steam were also blocked. I had no idea that Mary's power was far greater than I had imagined. All of my efforts to suppress her power were completely useless. My memories unraveled faster than I thought. How did Mary come to be in the first place? I mean, we had like some stuff there to make these dolls. I'm curious. Okay. Well, I mean, good test, though. Good test, though, Samuel Gordon. I appreciate the thought, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about that at all. <laughs> Just thank you for hanging out and being here. Um, yeah, so how did Mary come to be in the first place? I think we made it. Uh, one theory says a doll maker in the 19th century used magic to create her. Another says a spirit of a young girl who died prematurely took up residence in a doll. Pay in cash to Twitch? I didn't know. I didn't know that was possible. I don't know how that would work. I guess you can buy like Twitch gift cards, and then spend that through Twitch. Maybe I guess you could buy those in cash, potentially maybe. But I, I haven't heard of any other way of doing it. In the end, it's still a mystery. No one knows what happened to create a doll like that. Oh, that's weird. I have no idea what that'll do, Samuel Gordon. I've never tried it myself. I've never looked for that. I just have mine connected to a credit card. We only know that each of Mary's owners died tragic deaths. Shortly after the turn of the 20th century, she came to be owned by the head of the Cujos. He either didn't know of the curse or simply didn't believe it. <laughs> right, Krem? You got a snail mail your cash currency directly to uh, Twitch headquarters, and then they apply it. Disasters began befalling the family. It's like that meme, right, Alex? You literally throw your money at the screen. <laughs> Mary gained enough power to become sentient and produce spirits. Then the tragedy in the shelter happened. The seething grudges of the experiment victims and the Buddha statues. They may have triggered her awakening. Whatever Mary's true identity is, the fact remains that she altered many people's fates. Mine and the Mark Bearers included. Speaking of, an update on the surviving Mark Bearers. They all survived. What do you mean surviving? Although, based on how I was playing, they were not all going to survive. Thank you, Jimmy. 
Moe Watanabe became part-time writer of her favorite magazine, OOP Arts Monthly. Oh, that's cute. She sometimes comes to Kujo Mansion to interview me about spirits and ghosts. Tsukasa Yoshida is studying every day for the middle school exams next year. He bragged in his letter to me about how well he did in the national mock tests. Oh, and Amazon as well. Dang it. Dang it. And I'm guessing there was no like local or was there like a local Amazon for you, but that's all shut down too, probably. And Michael, Twitch gift cards exist actually. You can't purchase them from Amazon. I didn't know that myself. They might still have them in stores, I guess. I mean, I guess that'd be the only way you would pay with cash, honestly, is if you went to the store and got one. I, I sometimes do that. Like if I have, if I get cash for Christmas or something and I want to, I actually wanted Steam gift cards, I just go to Best Buy and buy Steam gift cards with the cash. Uh, Satoru Mashita bought me a drink, like he promised. He seems he's thinking about becoming a private detective. He actually asked me if I wanted to join him. Was he serious? I don't know for sure. I think he was. Be like a buddy cop situation. Oh, this guy. Sh uh, Sha Nagashima is picking fights, riding his bike, and do whatever he wants, as usual. But recently, out of the blue, I heard he's joined his neighborhood's baseball team. Christy Aramura has started writing an essay exposing all of her past affairs. She's trying to get back into the industry. You know, one thing you could try therapy if you wanted to get like a Steam game is Steam games have sellers all over the place. You could buy Steam keys from websites like Humble Bundle, um, uh, Fanatical is one that I use, Green Man Gaming, and there's a ton of other ones. You might still be able to buy games off of those sites. You get the key and then you just purchase it or um, process it through Steam and it should work just fine, I think. If like just the Steam storefronts not accepting payments. Yes, Katamar. Yeah, these are all different mark bearers from different chapters because we've had five total chapters. Humble Bundle's also a bust. Ah, well, that's not surprising considering the uh, um, the big Humble Bundle that they have going on right now. That makes sense. But yeah, try Fanatical and um, Green Man Gaming. They generally have really good sales too. They're like legit sites. There's a lot of Steam sites that are not legit, but those two definitely are. And basically can't use them to shop abroad and PayPal too. I'm not sure where those are located. They're probably not in Russia. Um, I'm not sure what countries those are actually hosted in. They might be in the US, but probably not, because I think they host keys from other places too. But maybe there's like another reseller that still sells keys that you can get that you would have access to, I would hope. Uh, Suzu Moriyama was able to see her father. Lately, she started asking me for advice about how to get her parents to reconcile. I have no idea if I helped at all, but she says they sometimes have meals together now. That sounds good. That sounds promising. Oh, this guy. Ita Nakamatsu, yeah, Nakamatsu has gone back to surfing the BBS every day, as usual. But what's new is he's been stopping by the city employment center. I guess he wants to get a steady job and be a role model for Suzo. Uh, best of luck to him. This feels like the epilogue to the game, doesn't it? A day doesn't go by that I don't see Ai Kashiwagi on the TV as part of Love and Hero. She sent a ticket like she promised, but I need to drum up some courage to go to a concert for teens alone at my age. <laughs> there you go, Alex. So that's a good point. Yeah, they might not be able to get a whole lot of new keys in the future. At least, like, you know, in the re in the soon future. So if there's any games you've been thinking about getting, Alex and Therapy, maybe grab some from those resellers before they run out. Because, yeah, they do run out and they might be a while before they can restock. I wonder if you could be gifted keys. Like, if we could, um... Like, somebody could just send you a key from somewhere else. I guess it depends on the region. But I think, like, you could take a US key and it would authenticate in Russia, I believe. It doesn't work the other way around, because things are usually more expensive in the U.S. We can't buy it cheaper, but I think the other way might work. 
Uh, Towako Yasoka is still working as a fortune teller in Ginza. Apparently, she believes I have a spiritual power or something. She keeps sending customers with spirit problems to the mansion. I wish she'd stop. Yeah, we're not the psychic you are. Only if it's global, not region lock, which it usually is. Okay, I'd have to do research to see which stores actually sell global keys. I'm not sure. Uh, Madoka Hiru spends her days working as a researcher while also visiting the shelter. Her and Banshee squabble a lot, but I wish she'd stop complaining to me about it. Oh, Krem, that's true. So yeah, like let's say I was going to send Therapy or Alex a Steam code. I probably couldn't do it gifting directly through Steam, but I bet I could buy it through another storefront, in which case you don't get a Steam giftable item, you just get a code. And whoever plugs in that code first gets it. I've actually sent codes to Alex and Therapy in the past, and I think they've worked just fine. Uh, Shuji Diamond seems to be doing better now, like a weight's been lifted off his chest. He sure doesn't look any better. <laughs> Still looks exhausted. He's in the process of convincing officials to publicize the shelter and build a memorial for it. Banshee Itu has returned to his beloved underground shelter. He stops by the mansion sometimes, filling the place with his scent. Ugh. I think, I'm, I, well, I know you can gift people um, gift cards, like Steam gift cards that are in different regions as well. I know that works. Of course, he comes to beg me for food. Maybe he wasn't such a bad guy. I was getting some weird shifty vibes from him. Now then. Oh, well, it's not over yet. He might still be a bad guy. I finish my break and return to the workbench in the corner of the room. Creepy noise. Don't like that. Um, over the past two months, Mary has managed to repair herself. Her power hasn't completely come back yet, but she's still extremely frightening. The ninja boots, or, yeah, ninja boots so alone won't be enough to continue sealing her powers in the years to come. I must prepare extra spiritual measures. It's taken a long time to get those ready, but today I finally finished. Yeah, this was two months later, right? Once everything is complete, I replace the Ninja Butso inside Mary. Finally, it's over. Pick up Mary and put her in a wood box. Five years. This all started when I opened that lid of this box. Mary stares up at me from the depths of the box. I have no idea if she's aware what's happening right now. But there's no doubt she'll regain her powers when the Ninja Butso wears out decades from now. I'm determined to find a way to destroy this cursed doll before that happens. Until that day. You need to stay asleep, Mary. You ever go night night, Mary? Oh, that was the end. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking there was going to be like a whole nother twist at the end or something like that. Nice. Well, that was cool. It kind of left it open for more story potentially as well. Now, it's okay for the time being, but he knows over time this thing's going to get out and cause problems. So I'm curious, Jumi, how does the, um, the bad ending of this game go. I'm very curious. Oh, nice, Michael. Yes, this game was very cool. Very nice choice, Jumi. I really enjoyed it as well. And a question going forward for all you guys. Do you recommend that when I do these, um, I try to do voices for all the characters? I do my best to differentiate the guys and the girls, the old people and yada yada. Or should I just read everything in my, my normal voice? Okay, there's a DLC chapter, Jimmy. Nice, it is not over yet. And if you're not sure why they call it DLC, because it was included on the cart. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Like, why is it DLC if the original version even had it, you know? I wonder if there's an even older version that didn't have it before that release. And you just tried getting a sub using Tink Off, money where it was taken, but no sub appeared. I guess that was my last ever payment to Twitch in a while. <laughs> Oh, 
Man, the sooner this is over with, the better. Oh my goodness. And do you like the different voices? Okay, yeah, I'm curious. And for everybody, what do you think? Do you prefer the different voices or do, would you prefer me just to use my normal voice? Sometimes it's kind of strenuous, but my thoughts was that it would be better for you to um, differentiate who's talking. And especially if you're just like listening to the stream, if you're not watching currently, that would help. However, my voices could be terrible where you can't actually like understand what I'm saying sometimes. So I hope I don't do that. The gallery has been added to the title screen and you're able to view illustrations. Okay, let's see where this DLC chapter is before we quit this. Because it is time, so that'll be perfect to continue this and finish up the last chapter at the end. Oh, yeah, it's just jumping right into it, it looks like. And now, you preferred the different voices? All right, we'll continue with that. Thank you, guys. And now, a lot of time has passed. A lot of time, what does that mean? Three years, 10 years, 100 years? Are we still alive? The muted chirping of insects gently drift along a breeze that enters the mansion. It's cool enough to sleep through the night again. It's nearly autumn after all. I stare out the window at the unchanging scenery without really seeing it. Clouds in the distance rumble with thunder. As if on cue, a chill wind brushes up against the window pane. Rain again. He's talking over me. Rain again, huh? Yeah, how strange, Alex. Yeah, I'm curious if it ever goes through. Probably not. I comment because otherwise it feels like I'm in a dream. It's as if a stranger is speaking. I stare at the linen sky. Even though I'm resting in a chair, I feel like I'm somewhere far away. Oh, and Alex and therapy. I'm curious where you guys are, are, you know, like shopping, food, supplies, all that kind of stuff. Are you guys all good with that? Or is any of that stuff becoming like scarce, like normal goods that you need becoming a problem? I'm hoping you guys don't have any issue with that. When I shift, I see out of the corner of my eye a stack of books piled on the desk. Some are pretty difficult to get my hands on, but I don't feel like reading them anymore. I could read all of them, and none will give me any type of clue. That's all I've learned after all this time wasted. The longer I try, the further away it gets. That thing sleeping in the wooden box. I head downstairs to make myself some coffee. Mm -hmm. There's a sudden knock at the door. Uh-oh. That hollow sound doesn't bring back good memories. It used to signal the arrival of a new mark bearer to the mansion. But that's in the past now. I swing the door open. Standing in front of me is... Hey, it's Moe. <laughs> Hiya. Moe Watanabe. Is now a good time, mister? Oh, if it isn't, just tell me and I'll leave you alone. Yeah, it's fine. Want some coffee? <laughs> Moe flashes a carefree smile and steps inside with a pep in her step. Just her presence makes this place feel less gloomy. <clears throat> with a start, I realize that Moe isn't my only visitor. <clears throat> it's been a while. I'm sorry for coming without contacting you. Tsukasa? This is rare. Why are you here? Um, it's been a while since we met up, so we talked about what happened. And obviously, the topic came to you. So I told him that I visit you a lot and that he should come with me. No big deal, right? I was just getting bored, <laughs> essentially. <clears throat> okay, good. So all the normal goods are still easy to get, but there are two or three times... More expensive. Okay, so that's, depending on budgets, that could be very, like, difficult to procure. Um, and electronic gadgets and computers are scarce. I wonder why. 
I, I guess, I mean, I guess like chips even from like China and stuff might be drying up. I wouldn't have thought that though. I'm not sure. And good for now, Alex. Although prices are going up, you expect lack of products to hit about one or two months. I hope it doesn't go on another two months. Oh, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, the, the only thing we've had here is gas prices have gotten pretty ridiculous, at least in California for me, especially. I think, I think our gas is like 620 now. Did it go through? Did they finally go through? <laughs> I'm not sure, but it looked like another one went through. Regardless of whether they worked or not, we're dropping some tokens. <laughs> you guys, Alex Friesman and Samuel Gordon, thank you guys so, so very much for the subs. You guys are ridiculously, ridiculously generous. Let me drop you guys all some tokens. There we go. <laughs> Whether they actually clear or not, doesn't matter. Thank you guys so very much. Okay, so I'm going to tell her I was just getting bored. Of course, I don't mind. I was just getting bored. That was me talking. <laughs> then I mix with the voices like that. Alex, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, was that all of them? Oh yeah, you got all six of those, Alex. Oh my gosh, how did you manage that? <laughs> Yeah, I figured as much. You seem like the type with time on your hands. All I'm doing is researching curses, apparently. I haven't seen them both together since the mark. Moe's come by sometimes for interviews and the like for an occult magazine. But this time, this is the first time I've seen Tsukasa Yoshida since then. I wasn't really concerned over him, but I'll admit I'm relieved to see he's all right. <laughs> Witchcraft, Alex. I'm glad to see you're well. Have you gotten a chance to relax? I have. Kind of. <laughs> Tactics. Nice. But, aren't you busy with entrance exams? Do you have time to waste doing this? Breaks are important. As an adult, you should understand that. I'm all about breaks. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I glance over to see Moe staring at me. What is it? It's just, I'm working hard at my job too. You don't have anything to say? Don't catch a cold? <laughs> say, oh, I know you are. Trust me, I know you are. You've barreled your way in here several times already. Oh, therapy, I wish I could join you. That sounds so good. That doesn't sound very encouraging. But no way am I a match for Tsukasa. He works crazy hard. He was the first in the recent mock tests. That's only natural. After all, I have a goal. You do? I've never heard him mention it. Or maybe I should say I never expected him to say he has a goal. You have something you're trying to accomplish? My parents were lawyers, so I was thinking of entering the judicial profession, but... Was thinking, huh? Has he changed his mind then? Wow, that's a cool dream. Jurassic. So, you like dinosaurs too? Tsukasa's glare is full of contempt. Oh, I didn't think about that, Alex. Yeah, you might want to stock up on some, like, things you use all the time. Just so you won't have to, like... <laughs> pay twice as much in a little while. Not Jurassic, judicial, as in working and dealing with the law. Oh, look how pissed he looks. Are you really in high school, Moe? Uh, I've never been at a lost words before. To be honest, now I'm not sure. If possible, I'd like to ask for your opinion, mister. Is that all right? And you've learned why it's called the DLC chapter. It used to be. This chapter was DLC for the Vita release, but completely bundled in for the later releases. Oh, nice. Honestly, Jumi, like, I would have no idea this is DLC, considering I didn't have to go back to the menu. It just bled right into there. It just feels like a natural continuation. It feels like an epilogue, because it's like after the credits, you know? <laughs> Tea also getting expensive, right? And let's see, and Alex, at most grocery stores, there are limits of one per person already because people are panicking and buying everything. Ah, the great, the great toilet paper shortage of 2020, right? <laughs> well, 
you know, the trick to that, Alex, is um, just go to 10 different stores. <laughs> or roast your own coffee, huh? There you go, Frost. Thinking outside the box. I like it. So who would think Tsukasa would ask me for advice? That incident I was wrapped up in started it. Now I know there are so many incompre incomprehensible things in the world. I'm considering going into science in order to el uh, elucidate them. But my parents, I feel that it would be difficult to tell them. I see. Well, that's what's going on. It's a serious predicament. You don't seem like someone who has much in the way of work experience. Hey! <laughs> but what do you think I should do? Uh, I mean, he doesn't seem too sure. I would say think it over first. Don't just like, yeah, tell him, screw off with your thing. Think about if that's really what you want to do, I would assume. It's difficult to say. Everything that happened could have just shaken him up. It might be good to talk it over with his family and think on it before deciding. Ah, oh, good plan, Alex. That's going to be like a whole day event, right? And you're going to plant your own tea this year? Oh, that's awesome. And it's going to be a nice scientific project. Not only like financially smart therapy, but like just a fun experiment, right? So that's what I tell him. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Alex. Good luck at work. I see. It's true. I have time. Thank you very much. I feel a bit better now. Sound like it was the right answer. I have no idea if my advice was really helpful or not, but Tsukasa bows politely to me. Great, you good now? Your future's bright, unlike this old guy here, so don't worry so much. Hey, talking about me? <laughs> That's not true. I'm sure he also has a bright. They both look at me. Eh, nope, can't picture it. But that's what makes him approachable. He's, so he's good to vent at, at least. I'm like right here. Why are you talking this trash to my face? But there are definitely, uh, but there definitely are things that only he can do. Honestly, I can't think of any myself. I can make a good pot of coffee, but that's not what they're really talking about. I mean, there's that doll. Tsukasa falls silent. It seems my expression gave it away. Have you not made much progress? Nothing I can share at the moment. I've researched everything I can. Mary's true identity is as elusive as smoke. I still haven't managed to find clues. So I'm taking a bit of a break right now. I'm glossing over it. But to be honest, any sort of tension has vanished. My rest hasn't relaxed me. It's more like I'm a balloon that's lost all of its air. If I was risking my life and facing death every day, it might be different, but right now, my determination to move forward that I had gone back then is gone. That's so... I'm sorry, I had no idea. Then it might be best for you to rest and relax a bit. How about a trip to improve your mood? You might get a good idea. I'm about to reply to that when... Now who's here? There's another knock at the door. Who could that be? I need a chance to save it very soon. <laughs> yes, who is it? Moe calls out playfully like she lives here and skips over to answer the door. Our detective friend? Is that his voice? The brusque voice belongs to... Uh-huh, thought so. The ex-detective, Satoru Mashita. Hey, what's all this? When did you start a daycare? Huh? Mr. Mashita, why are you here? Did you come to see us? Moe's clearly excited, but Tsukasa is collected as he bows politely. I'm in your debt for your help back then. Still, I'm surprised I didn't think we'd be able to meet here. Mashita gives an annoying shake of his head. I'm the one asking why you're here. Damn, we're going in circles now. 
I like his theme song. Very jazzy. Don't lie. I know you're happy to see us. You're always hiding your feelings. Oh, but what a huge coincidence. We've got everyone from the Hanahiko case back together again. So if you missed the first chapter, these are all my buddies from that chapter. This is totally destiny. I feel conflicted seeing her innocent smile. If everyone happy, if everyone's happy after such a horrific event, then maybe it'll fade quickly to memory. Hmm. Everyone, huh? In that case, one person, no, one being is missing. As he mutters, he glances at the spot in the room. It would be best to change the subject. He's talking about the doll, Mary. So, why are you here? I have something to ask you first. He answers me with a question, like usual. Kadia, you told that fortune teller about my office, didn't you? Does he mean... Tawako Yasoka? Yeah, it might have come up while I was talking to her about Mary. Why'd you have to go and do that? Now I'm drowning under investigation requests. Wait, does this mean... Are you a private eye, Mr. Mashita? Moe butts in, her eyes shining. She's not timid, I'll grant her that. <laughs> oh, my favorite. <laughs> Just a second. There we go. Don't you guys want to become famous? <laughs> Been a while since we had one of those. So, she's not timid, I'll grant you that. Wow, I guess you'd be pretty good at that. Oh, if we get an interesting job, bring me along with you. Even Mashita can only blink at her innocence. And this is exactly why it's annoying. Still, when I think about it, Mashita's complaints don't make much sense. How could he be disadvantaged by my sharing his info with Yasoka, who's incredibly famous? He himself said he was drowning under requests. Sounds like he's getting really good uh, work there. <laughs> yeah, right, Michael? No, thank you. <laughs> that would cause more problems than it would help, I think. I only told her about your office. What's wrong with that? Getting job requests is good, isn't it? What detective hates too many requests? Plus, he only just started. If he's insanely talented, there's no way he'd already be overwhelmed. It depends on what the request is about. The one I just got is the worst. Did he just hesitate, Mashita? It's your fault this happened. So, Kadia. Yes? I'm going to have you help me. Help you? Wait a minute. What are we talking about here? Can't you guess based on the context? I believe he's telling you he wants you to help with the detective job. Wow. I can't really picture him working as a private eye, though. Now, if he were to investigate a supernatural phenomenon, that would be per... Wait. Don't tell me. Uh-oh. This worst request ever that you got. We all hold our breath as we stare at Mashita. Exactly. A spirit might be involved. It's a good opportunity. This is what I heard from that old fortune teller. Oh, there's that creepy music again. Chapter 6. Finally starting the final chapter. Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, that's interesting. No, this is totally for real, I swear. I think I saw something real bad on that Love Hotel Street the other day. You heard about the Red Riding Hood girl. The rumor that people are disappearing after entering that Love Hotel in K-City. On rainy days, this girl stands by the road like she's trying to get customers. <laughs> like a prostitute. <laughs> Anyone who goes in the hotel with her ends up missing. Oh, and this entire chapter is an ongoing content warning. Oh, no. <laughs> well, 
As long as it's not like just straight up pornographic, we should be fine. And here's the kicker. They're eventually found, but their heads are so messed up, they can't even remember their names. Some ended up dying at the hospital, and others jump in front of trains. I totally forgot what I was uh, walking around at night the last time it rained. And there was that girl in a red raincoat there, so I thought I'd chat her up. But when I got close to her, <laughs> tell me, who are you? Or tell me, are you? She suddenly started whispering to me. I got real creeped out, so I bolted. No, I'm seriously glad she didn't follow me. Thinking back on it, something was odd. It wasn't raining that hard, but she was the only one who soaked from head to toe. Aw, oh, have a good night, Krim. I'm in the same boat. I gotta get to save point. I'm gonna try to read this as fast as possible. Later, I realized that raincoat was probably stoked with blood. Maybe it wasn't always red, huh? That's all I was told. I'm sorry, but I must say that sounds like a simple ghost story. The rainy shop district and the red raincoat, rather suspicious. Mashita ignores Tsukasa, looking straight at me instead. It's enough to make me concerned. I'll leave the rest to you, Kadia. You're coming with me. I like that. I'm bogged, or I'm bogged down with my other cases. I don't have time to spare. It's your fault that the old lady brought this to me. So, you need to take responsibility. But... <laughs> Come on, you can help him out a little. I'll help too. The editorial department might have some info on a case like this. And your investigations need assistance, right? Did you learn nothing, Miss Mo? Isn't that what put you in danger last time? Last time? Those words draw my eyes immediately to a certain spot. <laughs> yep, where the doll was. She's not here anymore. The same thing won't happen. It can't. But somewhere deep in my heart, I'm anxious. Don't work yourself up. It's more likely that it's just a lie. A bunch of it sounds like it was made up. That's why it's such a pain to have an absurd request like this brought to me. Mashita's right. It's highly likely the whole story was made up. If I had to point out anything concerning about it, it's pretty detailed for just a rumor, and it leaves the same kind of impression as rumors of real spirits. But it's better to be safe than sorry. If it does end up true, then we need to act now, yeah? Okay, I'll do it. I'd hoped you'd say that. We better get re- No, I'm going alone. What? No way, that's not fair. I knew she'd complain. But I can't put her in harm's way. Listen, Moe, I need you to search for info. I've got no way to research these rumors, but you have access to a lot more than me. Use your position to gather information. Hmm. I really hate sitting out and watching you do everything. But if that's how I can help best, then that's what I'll do. This time. If you find out anything, though, tell me, okay? I promise. It's settled. Mashita takes out a notebook, rips out a page, and hands it to me. The address of this hotel, Masquerade. It's abandoned now, though. Meet there at 8 tomorrow night. 8 p.m.? I have to go at a specific time? The client set the time. The old lady said she'd call in help, so it's probably a scheduling thing. I don't have time to handle this alone. Plus, this is Yasoka. I'm sure she has some kind of plan in mind. Well then, I need to get to my other cases. <laughs> Bye! Mashita turns on his heel and vanishes out the front door. But he's just as suddenly back. What's wrong? Weren't you leaving? Nothing. I just realized it's a bit late for kids to be wandering around outside. Mashita calls out to the other two. Hey, you two. I'll drive you back, so hurry up and get in the car. 
Oh, is that okay? Then I'll take you up on that. I agree. It's pretty late. Sorry to trouble you. Well then, mister, we'll be going. Please give me a save point. My life for a save point. The rhythmic ticking of the grandfather clock echoes through the hall. How long has it been since those three went home? I sit and mull over what Mashita told me. I have a bad feeling about this. It's perfectly reasonable to believe it's just rumors, a normal case even. But the more I think about it, the more I'm doubting it. I avert my eyes from the sofa. I silently ask its absent master a question, but of course, there's no way she'd reply. The next evening, you find a save point. No. I get ready and leave my room with heavy steps. The clock says it's six on the dot. It's still early for the meetup time. I guess unconsciously I'm a little impatient. I'm already ready. There's no reason to wait here at the mansion. Guess I'll go. I'll just kill time there if I'm early. Oh, I think we're about to get a save because then we have to exit, which gives us an option to save there. I'll learn the truth in and out. It'll be quick. I turn the car key. My mood improves somewhat. What do you mean you turn the car key? No! I don't... Okay, good, good, good. We got a chance to save. Perfect. Nice. All right, it is time. <laughs> Bam. Awesome, Jumi. Cool. I'm glad to see that the game didn't just end where it originally ended because this DLC is almost going to be like a sequel to the game. It seemed like it was setting up just a big, like a second version of this game, but I like that it's just a DLC chapter to help wrap, wrap things up. Very cool. Okay, I think it's under... Uh, bag? Yeah, here's the exit. Hard to remember. You have to go to inventory to quit the game. One of these days, I'll remember. <laughs> yeah, right, Katamari? It's been 84 years. 